Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO live stream. Uh, I thought I would go live, I didn't really know what deck I wanted to record today, so I was like, alright, today we can kind of, um, just play around on PDCGO, see how it works. I am getting some music on stream here, thanks to OBS, so hopefully the music is all good. Um, I don't really know how to make multiple songs be on stream, I have no idea how to do that. So for now, we're just going to have to listen to the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Sky Tower theme on loop until I can figure it out, or I can update the music every like 20 minutes or so but anyways yeah i thought i would live stream today and uh yo cramster man how you doing bro thank you for coming by on today's stream once again dude i appreciate it uh how you doing bro how are you doing so yeah i'm gonna be playing around some different decks i did build an expanded behem deck last night um last night i kind of just got back from the movies and i you know was like yeah we need to build some new decks because i need to come up with new ideas for videos and i built like i think six or f five or six new decks to build for videos a wild behemoth build yes indeed hyper we're gonna be playing some behemoth uh expanded behemoth in fact not standard we're gonna be playing expanded behemoth here using a musharna um wabafet and hoopa it's a an ace trainer so yeah uh we'll see how this expanded behemoth deck works um i am looking in your stream well, i appreciate it Christopher. anyway so yeah we're gonna hop into some games with behemoth here i do have some other decks i want to play i did build some decks last night uh, there is a Lipard Rogue deck that if you were on the last stream, uh, you probably saw the Lipard deck maybe get made, or at least talked about, I think, in the last stream we did. So I'm probably going to be playing that Lipard deck too, possibly, um, eventually. I still have to kind of test it a little bit and tweak it, uh, but the deck is really broken. You pretty much loop Dialga's uh, GX attack every single turn with Misty Lorelei. That's the whole concept of the deck. Love to see it, mate. Yes, sir, this is going to be a fun stream. Um... We'll see how we do. Playing around with some expanded behem here. Our opening hand is looking kind of bad though. We didn't get the Wobbuffet or Hoopa start. We're up against an all water deck with a colorless type, so it could just be a. It's a deck with. Okay, it's probably just like a Blastoise Rare Candy deck. And uh, my name's Mateya. Is that you? Matea or Mateya? Your name's Mate? I'll call you Mate if you want, Cranster. That's a pretty good nickname to have. All right, we get to draw an extra card here. Now, let me know if the music's too loud or too quiet or whatever. And but yeah, I'll probably I'll probably switch up the music uh, here and there on the stream, just because I know you guys probably don't want the music to be playing uh, the same song on loop over and over. But right now, it's on the Re Mystery Dungeon Rayquaza music. And it should have reset, right? Because I have it on. I I don't really know how to play music on OBS, but I wanted to get some music on the stream because I'm watching. I was watching some of my streams back yesterday, and I was like, yo, this is kind of not boring, but like there's no music to kind of have like a vibe or a mood uh, but I went to media source here on OBS and it does let you play music kind of <laughs> so I don't really know what I'm doing to be honest with you now uh, we are up against a pretty interesting deck here I think we just get the Wobbuffet the rough seas is going to be pretty rough no pun intended um long distance hypnosis uh what list are you playing I'm playing an expanded behem deck uh I'll show you the list here when I search my deck. Double Tails on Long Distance is pretty upsetting. Uh, but you can probably guess what the whole idea of this deck is. You're using Behem, just like in Expanded. We are still going to be using only 4 Triple Energy. That's the only energy we have. Speaking of which, we did Prize 1. And uh, we are going to go into walls like Hoopa and Wobbuffet. And we're using a Musharna engine instead of a Pidgeotto engine. Because Musharna is searchable through Mysterious Treasure. And the Moon is actually kind of useful in some scenarios too. So yeah, we are just going to be playing around with this build. Alright, we did get a shrine. We don't want to play that just yet, I don't think. I think we just pass. We didn't get a float stone, which would have been good. I would have liked to have gone into Wobbuffet here, but we're chilling. This matchup might not be too bad. We'll have to see. The rough seas is definitely going to be a little hard to deal with, though. Uh... Ian, playing Giratina and Garchomp GX with Nagandel, is it a good deck? So you're playing Giratina, Garchomp, and Nagandel. Well, how does that deck work, though, Gramster? Like, what's the whole concept of the deck? Because I know Giratina, Garchomp is good with Magius right now. Um, but what's, like, the whole general strategy of the deck? What Nagandel, too? The Stinger one or the uh, one that lets you draw three cards? All right. Let's see here what my opponent does. That will knock me out, most likely, with Lapras here. Which is unfortunate. Muna is obviously an important card in this deck. We can go into Wob though. We need to get Stretcher. We have two Stretchers, I think. 
There's another Legion. All right, we'll treasure away the Ultra Ball. The one thing I do wish this deck could run is potentially um, like an Elm setup, which we can play. We can play like Bridget, but like Bridget can't get us Musharna. All right, whoops, we got to do this first. Tails. Now I can't retreat. I probably shouldn't have done that in all honesty. <laughs> well, if I get heads though, we might win it. We might slow them down. I got hundred dollars for Christmas and I'm going to make Guardian. Nice hyper. Yeah, Guardian, it's not too expensive, but it's not too cheap either. There's no like there's not any Dedenes in the deck. I don't think that nest ball. I think we just gotta give up a few prizes here. Once we get past this Lapras, we might be okay. We need to get our Munas back. Go long to Hypnosis. Tails again. Big rip. Yeah, I guess we end him, whatever. Uh, we do want to hit an Ace Trainer soon, though. We want to hit them with that Ace Trainer combo. Okay, there we go. That's actually a pretty good hand. Assuming Wobbuffet will get knocked out here. I actually don't mind this hand too much. We'll see. Um, I don't really know how good this deck really is in Expanded, but it does seem kind of busted. My list is only $80. Nice, y'all. 20 left over. I would make some cool deck, but I lack the Jirachis. If you ever need Jirachis, Chris, the best thing to do, obviously, would be getting the uh, Team Up Evolution kits or just getting those alternate Cosmo deck boxes. But, like, I know Jirachi's, like, not a budget thing anymore, but at the same time, I still kind of see it as a budget kind of thing. It's weird. Okay. Rough Seas and Vaporeon are actually kind of annoying, not gonna lie. Our damage output is not the greatest. This actually makes it a little bit harder to deal with. Okay, we do put them to sleep, which is good. If they can stay asleep, that would be great. Okay. So we can Ultra Ball here, get rid of Wobbuffet and Musharna, but I do want to go into Wobbuffet. I also want to get the Behem guaranteed though. Okay, we can do our uh, we can do one four run first. Or yeah, we just get the Behem off the four run. Never mind, we don't have to play Ultra Ball now. That's amazing. That is a very 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 good. We'll do this. Uh, I'm looking for Ace Trainer. No, we got an N again though. I'll take that. We can actually put them to a four card hand which is good i do want to find shrine possibly to get rid of that rough seas and we got the shrine we got another behemoth triple energy so we are in pretty good we're in a good spot right now we just need to get um just need to get ourselves oh yeah might as well evolve we just need to find ourselves some float stones and we'll be gucci might even just go into the behemoth no he'll he can probably not gonna be wakes up uh, what does musharna do uh, musharna has the same ability as pidgeotto Right? It has, does it have same ability? Yeah, same ability as Pidgeotto. I think, right? Choose one of them, put him in your hip, and then... Oh, no, no. It's got the, it's got, it's got a similar ability to Pidgeotto. Instead of the one card going on the bottom of the deck, it goes back on the top. Which is honestly better, but... Yeah. So this Vaporeon is definitely annoying. I gotta hope he doesn't have another Rough Seas. We do have a Dowsy Machine, though. He doesn't have the Rough Seas, which is good. So we are gonna hopefully get a knockout here, assuming we don't whiff a Float Stone. We got Guzma. Okay, I'll take that, actually. We can uh, bring in this Blastoise Piplup, maybe. Yeah, okay, so no floats then. That's unfortunate. I think we're in a good spot, though, for sure. I think we just Guzma. Maybe even bring up the Vaporeon. Then he'll do Cure Shower, which is a little frustrating, but I don't mind that. Or maybe we just bring in this guy and try to trap it. Yeah, you know what? I think we just bring this in and hope for the best. We don't really have an answer to Vaporeon, so I think we should just take prizes while we can. Now we'll see how this goes. Let's go back in a wob. We just need to get some floats or something. We have a lot of supporters in this deck, though. Yeah, but that means no elm. Yeah. But I, I much rather prefer the Musharna, because then it's also searchable with treasure. And the moon is actually pretty good, as you just saw. That Lapras was asleep those turns. So I kind of like the Musharna better than the birds in here. Plus, it has more HP. Oh, they did get a Cynthia. If they do move this Blastoise Piplup and the Cure Shower, that's going to be pretty bad. We'll have to see, though. Wob affects MVP in us right now. Wob effect is definitely MVP in us. Alright, so we can knock him out, possibly, in a couple turns. Okay, we're desperately looking for a flow. We did get it, and that means we are going to be able to get a knockout here. So we know we're going to get a stretcher off the top deck. So I think what we'll do is we'll treasure away the Hoopa for the Behemoth. And then we have a different card. Because we're looking for a supporter now. 
What is the next card that I want to get off of our top deck here is a supporter. No, uh, I'll still take the stretcher. We're probably, Wob is just good here. Getting rid of Blastoise's ability is also powerful. So this Blastoise is going to get knocked out soon. And then all we have to do is maybe knock out Lapras to win the game, which might not be the hardest thing on the planet, but he still has Cure Shower, so that is still an issue. But it's looking likely we can get this. Can I get some luck? I have a bowling match today. All right, yo, good luck, Hyper. Hope you get some uh, strikes, I think they're called. I haven't gone bowling in a long time. I think they're called strikes, though, when you get, like, all the pins in one hit. But good luck, my dude. All right. He does do a Ninja Boy, which is kind of frustrating. That means he won't give up three prizes here. He's probably going to go into a one retreat or two. Oh, he's going to knock himself out. Okay, that's fine. There's Behem. That's good. I swear. <laughs> Obviously, we're not really playing against that great of a deck because he plays Ninja Boy. Um, that is very frustrating because now I have to reevaluate my plan. We can knock him out, though. We have to pretty much constantly loop Wobbuffet here. So we're not the stretcher. We might be at risk, though. Okay. We'll stretch her back the Wob. Maybe I should have shuffled. I don't know. We need a supporter. We haven't seen a su we haven't seen a Dross supporter in a while now. We need to get a supporter here on Forlorn. Okay, that will get us a supporter, right? Because we can get back Chorus. Or we can get back N. I think we get back N. Ooh, that was busted. All right. Cool. Yes, Heldy Hef with his college big brain. Yes, sir. No Sky Scorching Light like a few videos ago, knocking out a few Pidgeotos and one with Baby Blounds. That was insane. <laughs> that was pretty funny. But the, I don't know. That Sky Scorching Light deck was actually kind of fun to play. I mean, I got lucky that I kept running into uh, those decks. Should I just do Chorus? No, we should probably end them. I don't know. They didn't. Well, they did a Ninja Boy, but like, I still think the best play here is to end them. Okay, well, if we needed Behemoths, now would be the time to get them. Okay, we're gonna have to get rid of a few behemoths here, which is fine. We can live off of just two behemoths. It's not the end of the world. We can get a Elegium. Elegium. I did play Vaporeon or Flareon in this deck originally just for like the egg growl match, but that matchup is like unwinnable, so I was like, nah, we don't need that. All right, if we keep bringing in Wob here, we can buy some time. They might do Cure Shower now, which I would much rather prefer. There's Via Seeker again, that's good. It's seriously frustrating when you're going against a deck that isn't that good, but they have all the luck to beat you. Yep, that is pretty much my whole story in Expanded half the time. Because, like, when you lose a game in Expanded or you concede one game, I swear your elo goes down the drain. I don't know what it is. But if you concede one game in Expanded, you run into, like, some of the worst decks you'll ever play against. It's so frustrating. Okay. So we have to go into Hoopa, I think. I don't want him to use this ability, but I don't know. Well, two prizes, it's, I don't know. This might be a hard game to win, in all honesty. I could actually double Forewarn and then try to get the Guzma. I think instead I'm just going to Chorus. And we do need a Floatstone, too. Now I'll see what we can get. We might kind of be in a bit of a pickle here. We don't get anything we need. We do, sort of, okay. So we just need to not whip triple. Ooh, we might whip the triple after all, though. So as long as we just don't whip triple here, we should be good. We did get, we did whip it. We did get Ace Trainer though, which I like. But yeah, we didn't get our triple energy. That is a big rip. Okay. We're just gonna have to pass. And hope he doesn't have a water energy. Probably though, because this deck probably plays like 17 waters. No, my, yep, there, yep, just had it in their hand. I like the ability Rapidash with Victini and expanded with Mareep and Slumbering Forest. Interesting. I don't know what that rapid test is, Chris. Hmm. If we had choice, maybe we could actually knock him out. <sighs> okay. So we're gonna have to stretch her here, I think. I might have to just do the shuffle effect, because there is, like, too many Pokemon in the discard pile. I'm just gonna go Wobbuffet, double Behemoth. I think Wobbuffet is just too good here. I'm gonna have to live off of that. We could actually just end them. I could just do Kaylin Cynthia too. Get back that chorus. Get rid of the maybe the Ditto or the Musharna. 
We just need how many treasures do we need? One oh rip. So we just need to get a lava fan a triple energy here. I mean I don't know if I want to do Ace Trainer or if I want to just go for the Caitlyn Cynthia. I kinda of just want to do Caitlyn Cynthia to be honest with you. I'm probably gonna regret that, but I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'd rather draw the three cards here. Okay. We got the Wobbuffet. Um, I guess Ditto gets discarded. Sure. I guess. I don't know. We already got rid of the Musharna. We just need the Wob. We Now we just need to find the triple off of two forwards. And, oh, we're not going to get it, Rip. We might. Alright, come on. Forward, give me the triple. No. Oh no. Yeah, this game is just not going well. Um, we're gonna have to float into Hoopa, and then he's gonna heal, and then he's gonna be able to do powerful squall. Maybe I just go into the Wob and hope for the best, and then we end him to one. Man, this sucks. Yo, what up? Hey, yo, Fabian. Thank you for coming by on the stream today. Uh, 60 base damage, flip head, prevent all effects of attacks when damage done. Oh, yeah, isn't that in the, uh, isn't that in the, uh, Relentless Flame theme deck? Rip, yes, yeah, this is just bad. This is not good at all. I don't, we could maybe win this. I think end of one, if it can stick, we might be okay. We can win if end of one sticks. We'll see. But yeah, this is, uh, not ideal to say the least. <laughs> this is definitely not ideal. So we have to end here. I think we do... I want to do forewarn first, because we have less cards in the deck. Oh my gosh. I'm starting to think we aren't even going to get 3C off of the forewarn. Our deck is literally cards we need, so we'll play the treasure. That might help us a little bit. Okay, we're going to do one more forewarn. We got the 3C. Alright, that's all we needed. So we can indeed... He's going to live with 10HP because of the stadium and the choice being gone. Wow, bro. I didn't even realize... <sighs> that's frustrating. This deck might need more damage boosters, to be honest with you. Yo, Joseph, how you doing, man? Thank you for coming by on today's live stream. We should probably put more damage boosters in here, bro. That is pretty frustrating, not going to lie. See, I just hate losing to just decks like that. It's like, he's not playing a competitive deck. That's the problem with Expanded. Alright, you know what? I'm going to change up the song now, guys. Because I've had this song on for like 20 minutes now. I'll change up the songs every now and then. You know, let's put on the Johto Rival Remix. There we go, yeah. Let me know if that's too loud. I might just turn down a little bit. But let me know if that's too loud or not. Uh, Alright, let's continue on with our Bahia matches. That was a pretty annoying loss, not going to lie. That loss was kind of annoying. Another water... Uh, I swear, dude. I swear. I might just concede this. I don't really want... But then my Elo is going to get tanked. And I'm going to be playing against terrible decks. I don't really know what to do. I don't know what to do. Okay. Let's go for Tails. Rip. I'm going to convince you to play Spirit 2 Marmbrion. An Expanded Hyper? So I can maybe do an Expanded. I don't know if that deck would work in standard. Umbreon seems cool and all, but like the problem is Umbreon then has to deal with um, Mallow and Lana, which makes it do zero damage. That's why I'm like very hesitant of ever wanting to play it ever again. <sighs> it's another Blastoise deck. Okay, so we have the Wob at least. We just gotta hope they don't play Rough Seas. Yeah, an Expanded? Okay. We'll see. I do have a few decks already pre-built though for today's stream though, Hypers, but we'll see. We can we can build around with some different stuff. If you guys have any ideas, by the way, of what to add to this Behem deck, let me know. Looking for new ways to improve it. Okay, that didn't really help us that much. Wob Effect might buy us a few turns though, we'll have to see. We're not out yet, we do have Mime and Stretcher, so like we can keep the Wob in play for a little while. We have teammates, so the very least, if he ever does take a prize, we can guarantee a better hand with teammates, but we'll see. We shall see. Cold Crush Articuno. Yeah, we don't have to worry about Cold Crush though, because we're never gonna have the 3C in play. The Blastoise might be a little more scary though, because the healing, these healing decks are killing me today. Might just play the Shrine down now. 
don't want to speed. Nah, we're gonna pass. I don't really know what to do. We're in just a pickle. Our hand sucks. They're gonna just knock me. Oh my gosh. This ain't good. They just have everything in their hand, apparently. They probably have the Blastoise in their hand, too. <laughs> Bruh. Quit giving me bad cards. Alright, we're just gonna play the Shine down now. Screw it. Should've done that last turn, but we're gonna play it down now. If they have Rough Seas, Blastoise, and Water Energy in their hand, I concede. I concede the game if they have everything in their hand to counter me. Okay, well, we gotta hope they don't have a Water Energy in their hand. They have three other cards. What are the odds they have a Water? 100%, so we'll see. We shall see. This is annoying, though, because, like, the Blastoise is, like, it makes it so that I have to go into Wob so they can't use his ability. I can't go into Hoopa, which I would much rather go into Hoopa here. But the game ain't letting me because he's getting this in play. I better not play against any more water decks with it with this deck today. <laughs> but yeah, let me know if the music's too loud, by the way. I don't think it is, because no one's really complaining. Alright, they don't have the water. We get another turn to live. Okay, we do an ace train. I still don't think I need to play that yet, yet though. We have teammates. Alright. Gonna pass the turn. He's taking bear damage, which is good. I think if we would ever choice ban Mysterious Noise, then we would actually knock him out, though, too, which is good. Literally, Wob is the only reason why we might win this game at this point. No? Okay, well, we know they don't have any energy, probably. Nice, okay. We are getting very lucky here. They haven't found energy yet. I knew we were going to draw an end. I'm not even going to bother. I don't want to give him a new hand. No? I'd rather just get knocked out and use teammates and ace at this point, Shine's gonna knock out the Articuno. Alright, let's see what they got. They're definitely in top deck mode. They did draw an Apricorn Maker, which I don't think can get them a Water Energy. I don't think there's any ball cards that could do that. They could Master Ball for like a Dedenne, but I don't think they're playing that because it was a pure Water deck. It was definitely a pure Water deck, so I don't think they have access to it. They get a Squirtle though, okay. I mean, these big boys are a little scary, but I think we can just wall them out with Wob and Hoopa. I think Hoopa is going to be the big boy here. All right, they're probably going to get a water next turn off their top deck. Like I, I'm going to, I can see that coming. There's Hoopa. Okay, might as well bench that. So yeah, they're probably going to get a water off their top deck here. We'll have to see. We have a lot of damage in play, which is good. <laughs> kind of wish we played uh, Counter Energy and Lele. You know, they drew the water, or a supporter. Oh, or they concede the game. Okay, well, I'll take the win, I guess. Sure. I need to ladder grind, so any wins is appreciated. I need to get the polar cores. I don't even know if I want to go for this anymore, because it's like four days to get 2,000 things. I don't even know if that's going to be possible, but I would like to get there. Okay, we're not up against a water healing deck this time, thankfully. We're up against a deck that's using fairy types, so it could be a Gardevoir deck which is fine because we can still use Hoopa and we can still maybe Mysterious Noise them early on to prevent them from being able to rare candy. That could be pretty big. They could be just playing a Sylveon deck too. I don't even know if we can beat Sylveon because I genuinely think they can make us run out of energy before we get to do anything. Okay. I like the hand. We got the Hoopa start, a Legion, Muna. I like it. I like it quite a bit. Alright. We'll see what they're playing here. I'd rather be Gardevoir GX. We'll have to see, though. Why not make Guardian EXP? I do actually have Guardian built in Expanded Hyper. I just don't really play it that much. I don't really play it, but I do have the Gardevoir uh, Guardian Aromatisse deck built. Right, they got Comfy and Ralts. Comfy's interesting. That actually means we can't put them to sleep, which is not relevant, but it's decent enough. I don't think they actually play Gallade either, because I didn't- Well, they could be playing the Psychic Gallade. I can't remember what types I saw. Oh, they actually just concede the game. I'll take it. Another free win. And we got 50 coins. Alright, beautiful. We're just winning games because the opponent cannot handle the Behem. Can't heal the Behem. But yeah, the deck, as you can see next to it, is Birds 3, which is the Mark Moltres, Articuno, Zapdos, Ho-Oh, Ninja Boy deck. I might play that deck. I was playing around with it last night. It's actually pretty fun. Let's see what we're up against. Makes Mayhem playing a Lightning Psychic deck. This could be a potential Pika Rom deck. 
We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Okay. We're going to get a pretty unfortunate start. Not getting the Wob or the Hoopa. You know, that's usually what you want to start with is Wob and Hoopa. Those are the two ideal starters. Where's my phone? It's right beside me. No one has texted me. All right, never mind. So we're going to have to just be old King and Cynthia here. I don't really know what I want to do. I might have the treasure for Wob. We'll have to see what they're playing. It could be playing anything. And they are playing Pika, which isn't terrible. Hoopa and um, Mime are pretty much going to save us here. But they might be playing Silent Lab. I've seen some Pika lists play Silent Lab in the past. So we got to hope they don't have that. Ooh, they gave us a field blower. I like to see that too. Pika Rom has Shaman. Yeah. They do play Shaman. No, they actually don't. They was just lightning and uh, psychic though, Hyper. They don't have Shaman. The Marshadow means Shrine will never stick. Unless they play it early, which I doubt they will. We might need more stadiums in this deck, in all honesty. I kind of want to play two shrines. Or play another choice band or a muscle band. Because there are just so many turns now where I wish I had more damage output, but it just never happened. We have the shrine in our hand, so and we can get an extra 40 damage in play. And we get rid of the Thunder Mountain early on, which is good. So I think we just go for the shrine here. And we treasure... Okay, we might be able to turn to Mysterious Noise them because of the shrine bump. I think I'm just going to go get the Muna because it's the best thing we can get if we can draw into a Marsharna here off Caitlyn Cynthia. The Golden. Wow, this is a tough choice of what I want to discard. I think it has to be the Evo Soda. Choice Band I think is too important because it lets us two-shot the Pika. Especially with Shrine getting bumped here, I think we just have to get that. Okay, yeah. Hit him with Long Distance Hypnosis. I maybe we should get rid of the Behem. Whatever, it's fine. We'll just pass. Alright, if Allegium can live, this could be a decent turn. We are unfortunately going to lose our Shrine, but we have Dow's Machine, which is fine. I am a little scared of Tag Bolt, though. If I did prize my mind, we are in trouble, because Tag Bolt could be pretty devastating. But I'm expecting them not to get an attack off this turn. Especially if they don't have, like, Shaman. They probably played to Dene, I guess. They don't have any Lightning to discard, so... We're probably chilling. They are gonna get an Energy Switch. I mean, if they could go Ultra Ball Coco Prism, they could get there. It looks like they actually might get an attack off this turn. Something I just said would not happen. But apparently it will happen. If they do use Coco, though, that is one less out they have to dealing with my, uh... With my, uh, what's-his-face? With, the uh, Hoopa. They probably don't expect the Hoopa either. Or maybe they do. We'll see. Alright, what do we draw? A supporter? Yeah, we did draw a supporter, but not the one we really need. I guess we could trap the Coco. Could also trap the Lele. Or not trap it, but bring it up. I don't think I'm just treasure. Get the Musharna. This is our only out right now. Musharna can give us some good things. We could bring in Zero Aura and maybe slap Wob in the active too. That could have been an option. Okay, we got Ace Trainer. That is perfect. Do I want to bother with Guzma? This forces him to get another energy. He has another energy switch in his hand though, doesn't he? Jeez, you sometimes come across some weird expanded decks though. Yeah, I know Nintendo Rubin. That's the problem with expanded. Um, I don't know if I want a Guzma. I can't remember if we got an energy energy switch off the Volkner. I know we did, but I don't know if it was this energy switch. So, like, it's kind of pointless to Guzma, isn't it? We might as well do it. I mean, if the option's available, we might as well take it. I guess. I mean, we have a good enough start here. He's not going to tag both us, so we, sh we should be Gucci. I know he has an energy switch, though. Like, I, I can't remember if he got the secret energy switch off of Volkner or it was a regular art energy switch. I guess we'll find out. Unless he doesn't have an energy. We'll see. He has the energy switch, right? Yeah, he did grab a normal energy switch. Okay. There's a Volkner. We need quite a bit here off Ace Trainer, not gonna lie. We need to get triple energy. I want to get a Hoopa, and I also want to get Mime in play. You should have Guzma the Tapu Coco. No, I didn't want him to uh, discard the energy, Nintendo Rubin. Maybe I should have, though, because this thing will allow him to attack me if I go into Hoopa. I don't know, maybe I should have. 
Message deleted by the Google moderator team. Wait, what? <laughs> Sorry, Nintendo room. I have no idea why that got deleted. That's random. Okay, we need a pretty big ace trainer here. We need a lot. We might actually get there. We just now need a way to find mime, and we actually might be safe. Let's see. Yo, that's a busted turn if I've ever seen one. That is a busted turn. Oh my gosh, we actually got everything we needed off of that. That's hilarious. That's actually hilarious. Wow. <laughs> Not bad. All right, now we just hope they don't play Silent Lab. Make a meta-ish deck with Behem. I know Behem's decent in standard right now, but I don't really want to play standard Behem. <laughs> wow, you're cancer lucky. That was insane. I can't believe I got everything I needed off that Ace Trainer. Plus, we put them to three cards, and we item lock in when Picaron plays, like, probably 70% items. That's pretty good. That was a very lucky turn. I don't know if we can ever get that lucky again with this deck. <laughs> yes, Queen. Yes, Slay. Slay. <laughs> yeah, they just pass. Wow. That's impressive. We have Guzma. Yeah, there's no way we can attack them though. I think we just Ace Trainer them again. We might not get the item lock off this time though. We'll see. Okay, now we got the item lock. We're good. We're good. I'm gonna do this first. Yeah, there we go. We got a Legion. That's why I wanted. I wanted to see if we can get another Legion. How much HP do we have? 110. I need to find that choice man again. I will treasure. I'll get rid of the Ultra Ball. I don't really know if I'm going to ever play that. Okay, this is actually pretty good. Hoopa is saving us. That was a pretty insane um, last turn we got. I mean, yeah. Things are looking good for us right now. The Ace Trainer, Behem, hopefully is going good for us. I don't know if we can Behem him next turn, though. That's the only problem. We'll see. But I'm, I'm liking the spot room. Hoopa can buy us a few turns at the very least, which is good. Only one Musharna though, we need to get more, but I can't- I don't know when he's a Ditto. Okay. Ooh, he does play Zapdos. He can't play any Electro Powers though, so it's not really a big deal. He's actually gonna retreat- yeah, there's their aura, okay. Ooh, there's a Nest Ball. I think we'll play that, get a, another Muna. Uh, do this. Okay, so we're not going to be attacking him this turn, unfortunately. That means Hoopa might get knocked out by Zapdos. Unless we can hit heads on this. Which we do. Okay. So we're just going to have to pass. And he stays asleep. Lol. Well, we'll see if he has a Guzma in that six card hand. Field blower, that's fine. We got another flow. We're chilling. Yeah, that's why I like the Muna more than I like the uh, Pidgeotto, because. That would not have happened. This literally might have just bought us an extra turn. Looks like he's going to get back to the Marsh Shadow and the Lele. The Marsh Shadow's not really a deal. And he passes. Okay. Alright, well, here we go again. Alright, we did get him. We'll have to get rid of the Wobs, I think. That's kind of tough. Wobbuffet's kind of useful, but whatever. So we can knock out the Zara Aura, or the... We can bring in the Pika. I think I'm just going to knock out that Zero Ore and take my two prizes. We need all the support we can get at this point. We need all of the support we can get. Because obviously our hand sucks. And if we prized any supporters, now would be a great time to get them. Okay, there we go. Nice. What's our other prize? Ooh, we can get back that shrine. I kind of like that. Maybe we can try and put this thing in range of one mysterious noise knockout. That's pretty good. Alright, now Zapdos might not knock me out. Because obviously he can't play Electro Power, so we're probably safe. He could just play a Silent Lab though and pretty much win. I don't know what I would do if he Silent Labs me. But I think we're in a good spot right now for sure. Kind of wish I had Wob and Hoopa going right now, because then he can't use Zeror's ability. But he can Electropower me, so Zapdos will not knock me out. Now, let's see what we draw. Another Hoopa. I do need the bench bot, though, for a Legion. So what's the best supporter in here? Ace Trainer or Caitlyn? It looks like Caitlyn Cynthia. 
Hmm. Let's do four one first. Okay. We could play this, get the stretcher back, get back the Bahiam, and guarantee the attack this turn. Which I do actually quite like. Sure. Oh no, we have to get the float. Maybe I shouldn't have played that. Maybe, man, we can afford to lose one triple. I don't know. Yeah, that was actually a stupid idea, to be honest with you. Yeah, that was a stupid idea. I didn't really count the math in my head. Yeah, that was kind of stupid, to be honest. I might have just messed that up. Ah, uh, yikes. Hmm. Yeah, I should not have done that. Rip. Might just get Shrine. Hmm, I don't know. Yeah, you know what? Let's just get Shrine. Here's what we'll do. Or maybe I get an Evo Soda for another Musharna. And then Kaylin sent away the Flow. Because I'm expecting Hoopa to get knocked out here, so I'm not really too scared of losing the Floatstone. Yeah, I kind of misplayed there, but it's fine. Uh, we'll do this, get Caitlyn Cynthia back. I think we'll get Guzma off of it. We don't really need the Ace Trainer right now. Or maybe we could get Ace Trainer, because we might fall behind in prizes. Yeah, we'll get the Ace Trainer. I draw three cards. Or we just get the Ace Trainer right back again. Okay, then. Four one. Alright, double Legion. That's fine. Okay, then. So... If he has an Electro Power, he will knock me out. We'll have to see if he does. Alright, this game is not really going the way I wanted it to, not gonna lie. We can't, All that luck is kind of running out because we're kind of just dead drawing here. I might honestly want to just play more Chorus, to be honest with you. I kind of wish I played like two Chorus in the deck instead of just one. Dene coming down. Ooh, we could maybe trap a Dene at some point. There's an Order Pad. It does get heads, which means he can get Electro Power. Oh, he actually gets an energy switch. Interesting. Okay, he goes into the fresh Zapdos. Never mind. He didn't want to get energy switch. Or, uh, he didn't want to get electro power. Can't talk today. Alright, I'm going to change up the song again, just because this song has been playing probably for a little bit now. It's going to keep changing up the song every now and then. Uh, let's put on the Champion Cynthia Battle Remix. Sure. Let me know if that is too loud for you guys. Let me know if the... Let me know if this uh, song is too loud. I personally think those were some pretty bad play story. Yeah, those, yeah. I wasn't really, like, thinking too much. It's not over yet, though. I think we're fine. I think we're still fine for now. Let's do this first. Okay, we got an end. We'll play that, I think. Yeah, we kind of have to. It's the only good supporter. Do another forewarn. Do get choice banned. Hmm. Right, I'm gonna play this. I wanna get back Wob and Hoopa. How am I gonna get him back? I'll get back one Wob and a Behem and a Hoopa. Okay. <sighs> what do I wanna do? I think we have to bench the Hoopa. I'm not even gonna bother playing that choice, man. We're gonna need that for Pika. Oh, we didn't get the Behem. Rip. That is a big rip. Alright, we're gonna have to pass. We're gonna lose another prize here. That's fine, though. We're chilling. Hey, Timmy, man. How you doing? Thank you for coming by on today's live stream. We haven't seen a Guzma yet, which is scary. Okay, he just knocks me out. That's fine. So we can end him to three. We can keep trying to slow him down here with our end. <coughs> I think we could, gotta go into Hoopa. I do want to use Wob though, but we can't really bench it. Alright, we need to get Behem here to attach the triple energy. Didn't get it. We got Eco Arm though, which we could play to get back the two floats. Okay, there's Behem. But that clunks, that, ooh, that clunks our deck up. I would like to go into Wob instead of obviously the Hoopa. But he can't play any uh, things anyway, so it's not really a big deal. He can't play any Electro Power, so I think we're fine. 
Uh, let me hold off on the eco arm. He can't put field blower. We can end him to three. We can keep kind of lowering his hand size. Doing good. Uh, what about you? I'm doing great. I'm just testing out some decks right now here. We didn't get another Allegium. That's kind of unfortunate. I think we can bench the Wob then. And just Mysterious Noise for 90. We knock out Zapdos. All we gotta do is knock this out and win the game. Hmm. I kind of want to just go into Wob just because he... I guess he could just go into Pika. Yeah, you know what? We're bringing Hoopa. He could always just retreat to energy. Tag teams crush rogues in standard. Yeah, I know. It sucks, Chris. It sucks quite a bit. I do think the sword and shield meta will help it a little bit. But I still think tag teams are going to be really good. Oh, he brings in the mime. I saw that coming. And we're out of stretchers. Lose. There's no way to prevent tag bolt. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Okay, we probably want to play more chorus in the deck. I think I might just take out that Caitlyn Cynthia. That thing did nothing for us. Really. Oh, I haven't seen a Pika Rom deck in a while. Same. I kind of like playing against Pika Rom, to be honest. It's kind of it's a fun deck to play against. Um. Yeah, Caitlyn Cynthia, this thing sucks in here. I don't know why I put it in there. I might even take out the teammates. That thing did nothing for us either. We didn't get to play it. But in, in theory, the teammates is a good card. I think we just go double chorus here. We don't have Juniper in the deck, because uh, I don't really like it in here, but we might need to play Juniper. I do want to play more damage boosters. I don't know what I will, uh, what else I want to take out. What do you guys think of this list? Do you guys, what improvements would you make? I might take out a Hoopa, and I might throw in a uh, another uh, damage booster. I might throw in another Shrine. I might throw in another Choice Band or a Muscle Band. We have Eco Arm though, so I guess it's not a big deal. We can even take out the Eco Arm because Fab is already a thing. I don't really know. What changes do you guys think this deck could make? Because uh, I'm kind of confused. I do like this list though. Maybe take out a Stretcher. Maybe we don't need two Stretchers. Could throw in like a fourth Muna, which actually wouldn't be bad either. I could play, uh... uh the problem is with our supporter account though, is once we use one supporter, like we don't really have a support for the opening turns. We could play a Bridget in here, but the Bridget is a, uh, I don't know. The Eco Arm is a bit much. Yeah, I don't know, though. But the thing I like about Eco Arm, though, is decks just that will spam Field Blower. I don't know. But the problem is we can always, like, lock them out with, yeah, you know what? Maybe you're right, Ruben. Yeah, we probably don't need the, uh, the Eco Arm. I, I'm going to throw in, like, a Cynthia. I just want to have, like, a nice shuffle draw card, and I think Cynthia fits that bill perfectly. I would play Bridget in here, but, like, there's no, like, reliable way of starting with it every time. I might take out one Ultra Ball. I don't really feel like we need... I might go... Let's do this. Let's go for Muna. Sub man, how you doing? I'm doing good, Mina. Thank you for coming by on today's stream. Uh, we're playing around with some cool decks right now. I'm trying out Behem right now and Expanded. I guess we can roll, roll with this. Is there any other, like, Pokemon you could think? I noticed you discard your Ultra Ball a lot. Yeah. I would cut out Ultra Ball together, but I think it's still, like, a really good card. But I guess because we have... Maybe we could just go, like, four Nest Balls instead. You want, want to try that? Four Nest Balls? Instead of the Ultra Ball? I, yeah, that might be better, because we already have enough basics. Yeah, maybe we could... Yeah, let's just go four Nest Ball, four Treasures. And we'll cut out the Ultra Ball together. Because Ultra Ball wasn't really doing that much for us. It did find us a few Behemoths, but I actually feel like Nest Ball might be the better card. Okay, you know what? I actually kind of like this version a little bit more than that previous version. I still want to play one more card that increases our damage output, even with the one Dowsy. You should play Computer Search to Dowsy because you sometimes need something specific. I don't know. I I think I'd much rather prefer the Dowsy Machine, though, because it can get us back a Float Stone. It can get us a... Uh, it can get us back Shrine if we ever need it. I actually genuinely think the Dowsy Machine is the better card over Computer Search. The only thing Computer Search really does for us is it can find us a triple energy at the right moment. But I think I'd much rather just play the Dowsy Machine. I've been playing a Reshiram and Zekrom deck with Roy and Resolve Charizard got two wins. Nice, Timmy. That deck sounds kind of cool. Treasure Nest Ball and Evo Soda will carry Pokemon Search. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think I like this a little bit more. Is there any other, like, Pokemon, like, walls? I think Gumi could be kind of cool in here. Uh, Gumi could be good against Night March, possibly. Gumi could be good against Night March and maybe Zoark. I kind of like Gumi. 
Gumi's another wall. We could play the dolls, obviously, guys, but uh, I can't find room for dolls. And I don't really think we need dolls in here, to be honest. Maybe we, maybe we could play dolls, but I don't know. Dolls I don't really think are needed. I think I'd rather just play the Wob and the Hoopa. All right, let's just try this deck out again. All right, we're up against a... Uh, looks like a Reshiram deck, which is fine. I also wouldn't mind maybe trying to find room for a uh, possible... What's his face? I just forgot about the card. That's great. Pokemon Ranger. Pokemon Ranger, right. I feel like every deck now in expansion just run Run Ranger just because it just gets rid of uh, Ultra Creation immediately. Yeah, Melee use a Charizard to get energy on board. Yeah, I figured. The Run Resolve Charizard is kind of cool also with the Bubble Cell Alright, I'm just going to quickly put in a headphone here just to... I'm going to listen to my stream back. Just make sure the music volume is all good. Even though I know you guys haven't said anything about the music yet. I'm just going to make sure because I'm going to know how it sounds like. Okay. Well, well, this is a uh, definite unfortunate hand, unless we can draw a Muna. I kind of like the four Muna, too. Four Muna is pretty nice. Maybe Garboder, but we need Psychic. Nah, Garboder, we can't use in here. Oh, no, you're talking about Trash Lanch. Nah, I don't really, uh, I don't really like uh, Trash Lanch in here. I guess we have the Ditto. I was originally playing, like, Flareon and Vaporeon in the deck just to make yourself do more damage to just, like... Zards and obviously other stuff like uh, Executor Rowlets. I think the Rowags matchup is just unwinnable though. They have too much healing. Okay, let's see what they can start with here. Okay, they're playing a Turdinator deck. That's bad. What sort of microphone are you using right now? Uh, right now I'm using a Yan Mei microphone. <laughs> when my old mic broke, I had to buy a new microphone and I was like, alright, we're gonna buy this because it's the cheapest one I can afford at the time being. However, I am gonna be getting a uh, new mic probably for christmas a blue snowball or what was it a blue yeti blue yeti mic yeah i'm gonna be getting a blue yeti mini mic for christmas so i don't really have a huge desk so i had to get like a blue yeti like a mini version but i am most likely getting a blue yeti for christmas um instead of paying a hundred dollars for it which i don't really have uh yeah a blue yeti nano that is the mic i am gonna be getting here i'll uh, show you guys even though you guys probably just google it yourself but you know what i'm gonna show you anyways because i'm a boss Um, yeah, I'm gonna be getting a Blue Yeti, which is obviously, like, arguably the best mic to get for, like, any, like, YouTuber, just in general. It's just, like, a really good mic. Uh, where is it? Can't find the picture. Hold on. Um, we drew an Evo Soda. I mean, you might as well it thins the deck out. I guess we're just gonna pass. We'll bench the other Wob, I guess, just in case we need cannon fodder. Alright, I don't know where the heck that picture went. What? Where's the picture? Oh, I know where the picture is. Right, it's in this. I forgot I had a folder where all my things. This is the mic that I'm going to be getting. Um, I don't know. This is the mic that I'm going to be getting. A Blue Yeti Nano. It's a good mic. It's a good mic. Yeah, instead of just paying all this money to get it, I might as well just get it for Christmas instead, because it feels like it's the best case scenario. That's the USB mic, right? Yeah. Because I, I, I do all my stuff here on my MacBook. I don't actually like have a desktop set up. I don't have like triple monitors or anything. I'm just literally streaming and making videos off of a laptop. Yeah, this is not ideal. We are just drawing poorly, but I guess we're lucky they haven't even attacked me yet. How long until Alternate Cross was blocked and expanded? Alternate Cross was not as good as I thought. I'm okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. I know Ultra Cosmos everywhere in Expanded right now, and you guys don't like playing against it. I actually don't think the deck is that good in the long run. I think it is going to flop at Dallas. I think the deck sucks. I think it loses to Honchkrow, Faba. I think the deck is just not a good deck. But people are really hyping it up. I think the deck actually sucks. Your hand sucks. Yeah, I know. No, we don't even have a supporter. If we can draw a Muna, though, we can at least guarantee Musharna. We have, like, one more turn here to live. There we go. We can get a Muna. Let's get rid of a Stretcher, sure. We can even put him to sleep, maybe, which is pretty big. That could uh, buy us a couple turns, maybe. Okay. Muna is busted. Muna Slumbering Forest. We should play one Slumbering Forest in the deck just for the memes. Nice looking mic. Yeah, I needed a small mic because the regular size ones would not fit on my desk. I don't have a very big desk, either. My desk is kind of small. Like, it can fit my laptop. It can fit my microphone. It can fit the mouse. But it can't fit much else. Look at that. I rhymed. 
But yeah, the normal size Blue Yetis would not fit my desk. So I had to get the... I'm, I'm like, yeah, the mini version is probably the better one. Okay, this matchup might not be bad in all honesty. Like, we get past one Turnator. Like, Nagandel can't do much other than knock out Wobbuffet one hit. But we get one... It can one-shot... We can one-shot it, sorry. Plus, I think N and stuff would really screw him over. Because it doesn't really look like he has an answer to, like, ends and stuff. Oh, why discard a stretch when we have two Muna... Musharna in hand? I don't know. Maybe that was a dumb idea, but I don't know. I think I'd rather just lose the stretcher. I don't really think we need it right now. Um, we're just going to have to go into WoW. We're going to have to keep buying some time here. Let's see. Long distance hypnosis. Get tails. That could actually be bad. Yeah. I, maybe I shouldn't have got rid of the stretcher. Yeah, whatever. It doesn't really matter. I don't really think it does. Another Muna. That's good. We have another chance of our ability, and we can put him to sleep. Let me get another Musharna. No. Okay, well, next turn, we should find Ace Trainer at the very least, or at least a supporter. We have two forewarns to work with that better find us a supporter. Because if not, we might be in trouble. Yes, it's still got a lot of energy knocking out. The 10 extra HP is pretty good. Re yes, indeed, Ganon Derp. This is a re moment. Yeah, but you can stretch it for the Musharna, that's why. Yeah, I know, I know. Maybe I shouldn't go for the stretcher. I don't think that's going to matter too much in the long run, though. I think we're chilling. We'll save the stretcher for when we really need it. I do think when we Ace Trainer him, and maybe end him to, like, two cards, we can win the game that way. Because then, look, he has a way to rebuild this thing back up. We could play Pyroar in this deck, actually. Pyroar could actually be kind of cool. We'd have to play Ditto, though. Or, no, we already have Ditto. No, he's gonna custom... Okay, never mind. That's good. He plays a lot of items, though, but he's burning them all. He has 12 cards left in his deck. Yo, what? Yo, that's insane. We could actually deck him out, maybe. He has 10 cards left in his deck. Why was Moog Amoogus a banned? Uh, I think it was just glitched. Yeah, it was just bugged out. Wow. He's got 10 cards left. I could maybe deck him out. We'll see. All right, if we don't get a supporter here, I think we're going to lose. We'll be two behind. All right, there we go. We got him in. Perfect. I think we'll save our forewarn for the end. Do I need to do anything else? Nope, not really. All right, there's 3 CE. I kinda wish he ever benched that Dene at some point, that would've been nice. Alright, we got Ace Trainer next turn, which is good too. Ooh, another Legion. I think we'll, uh, we'll discard one Floatstone here, because we're most likely just gonna get knocked out. We'll get another Elegym, just in case he has, like, a Guzma. So we'll just go into our Wob. And once we go into Hoop, I think we'll be good too. He can't play via Seeker, so he's pretty much in top pick mode. And we can keep spamming Ace Trainer and then we can keep lowering his hand size. That's going to be how we're going to try to win the game. Elmeo Custom Catcher and Expanded Re... Yeah, that is a re moment indeed in 10 Rubin. Although I will say in my Breaksard Garboder list that I have built, I actually do play, I think, two Custom Catchers. Because it's still like a decent card with Breaksard. But yeah, that is a very big re moment. That actually could have been bad too last turn. He could have knocked me out. But it, maybe he doesn't play Guzma then because he doesn't have much. He is going to deck out. Which I think we can pull off. He can't... As long as we prevent from stretching, I think we can deck him out. He's going to have, like, six cards left. We can maybe stall something in the act of two. He might take all his prizes, though, beforehand. That's the issue. Alright, we will get a knockout here. We can ace trainer him again, and then hope he doesn't get an energy for Turdinator. He does have his turning point turn too. That is pretty scary. We need to go into like Hoopa. Chorus is good. Maybe we just play the Chorus. Start the Ace Trainer. Now nah, we'll Ace Trainer. I think it's still fine to put him to a lower hand size. Not a lot of people run GXs in expanded weird format. I know. Expanded is a uh, very, very weird format. Uh, we gotta do find one of our first nest balls, which will get us Hoopa. We have another Muna. Which I probably will just bench, just because I can. Alright, we have our four horns. We'll take the teammates, I think. And we'll do another four horn. We'll take this 
Cynthia? No, I'll take the Guzma. Because we're probably just going to keep spamming Ace Trainer. Or N, actually. N is even better at this point. We'll uh, evolve into Behem, I think. Just in case. And we'll just knock him out. We'll go into Hoopa. I, I was going to say he doesn't play Guzma because he plays Customs. So, there's no way this thing can get knocked out. There's a treasure. All right. So, I think we're chilling. We'll see if he gave him, gave him an energy. He's played so many already. Okay, he did find energy. Rip. I really wanted... I want to play Muscle Band in here. If we had Muscle Band and we one-shot him, that'd be great. Oh, he has one card left in the deck. Oh, no, for him. Yeah, I don't even want to do... And now, because he has one card left. I think he's going to deck out. If we can prevent him from shuffling cards back into the deck. And I doubt he plays Brock's Grit. So I think we just won by deck out. I think we just won by deck out. Alright, I'm going to change the song one more time. To something else. We'll put on the Kanto Gym Battle Remix. Yeah. We'll turn it up a bit. Oh, that might be too loud. Alright, let's just leave it there. Whatever. Let me know if the music's too loud. Playing that Sycamore. Yeah, that's not good for him. He probably... He might have an end. We'll see. I think we can win, though, at this point by deck out. That was a good draw. Now we're just going to play teammates, I think. I'm just going to do teammates. Seems good. I could Guzma the one of the Naganadels and knock it out. There's no need to. We might have just won by the skin of our teeth. He's going to get Elegium and, Elegium and Hoopa. I don't even know if I'm saying his name right. Uh, we're going to get these two boys. Maybe I could have done 4-1 first. I think we're fine, though. I think literally we can win this no matter what. Like, I don't really see how my opponent's winning. Alright, do another 4 one. We'll take the Cynthia. And we might have won by deck out. We'll see. He pro what are the odds he has an N or a Cynthia? Probably kind of high, but we'll see. If not, we might have won the game. By decking out, which is kind of sad. There's no way he's going to... I don't know, we'll see. Alright, let's see. Let's see the win. No Cynthia. No Cynthia. Come on. Muna for the memes. I would have done it. We can maybe maybe we can stall him out with Muna. If we had Slumbering Forest, that actually could be a potential option. <laughs> like, that could actually have been an option if we had uh, Slumbering Forest in this deck. That could be a really cool idea, though. Play Slumbering Forest to the Shrine and then hit heads on Long Distance Hypnosis. But you only really get one chance because it'll evolve into Musharna eventually. Alright, nice. We won the game. And before he plays something random that can shovel his hand back, which he doesn't have. Alright, that's game. That was a pretty intense match. That was a close game, too. We would have lost if he didn't deck out, so that's good to know. Maybe we wouldn't have lost. Because we, if we goose with that... If we goose up the uh, Turnator and knocked it out, I guess we could have just went to Hoopa, and then again, it all can't knock out Hoopa. I don't know, but he might have had in, like, an end or something. So, yeah, he had no way to shovel his hand back. That's really good. And he played... He did play the Customs and the Guzma. That is a very big brain play by my opponent. Okay, well, I'm liking the Behem deck. We have enough coins to buy a pack. We might as well. Might as well get a pack here. We'll got, just keep in mind calling me Clips. I do want to save up for theme decks because I do have something in mind. I, well, something in mind. I do have something planned for theme deck type of videos for beginners. For, like, the PC Joe subreddit and stuff, but I don't know. I just want to buy more packs. Ooh, Reverse Soul of Dust Skull. That's cool if we want to play Gramble. All right. Full Art Tag Team Supporter. No, we got a Sogaleo, though. Not the worst pack, I guess. I actually kind of like that Dust Skull. We could play Gramble. All right, so I think we've played enough Behem. It's literally been an hour of Behem, pretty much. So I think we're going to swap decks now, because that's too much Behem for one person to handle. I might just play the uh, the Birds Trio deck here. I like this deck quite a bit. Um, kind of feel like just playing this for a bit, in all honesty. We'll play, uh, we'll play the Bird Trio deck now. We'll switch it up. The Mushana, uh, the Behem deck was fun. Uh, the matchups we played against weren't the greatest, though. Even though the Pika Rom matchup, I actually think might be one of your more better matchups. I up against. It looks like the Reshi Rom deck. I'm just gonna keep saying it's Reshi Rom every time I see the Dragon type. Let's go Tails. Nice. Well, we could have put. Uh, we could have put. Uh, what's his face? Pokemon Ranger in this deck. That might have been a good option. I keep forgetting. We gotta start playing more Rangers now, just because you play one Ranger, it shuts off Altered Creation altogether. But I don't really think it's that good in this deck anyways. I don't know. We might even be playing against ADP. 
Okay. Uh, do I just end them? I think we do this. Get rid of the Denny and the Juniper. Might just get the Litleo on the off chance he does have all basics. I guess our game plan would be Sky Legends into the Litleo. Well, NM, can we get some battle compressors here? We do not. Rip. Actually, just got a pretty terrible hand. We did buy a Pyro, I guess. Well, I don't know. I guess we're just going to do this and pass. Not much we can really do about that. Not much we can really do. Alright. Let's see what he's playing. Oh, Ultra Necrozma, but with Shamans, though. Okay, well, I actually had a lot of types in the deck, so I don't really know. An Ultra Necrozma deck with GXs. Okay. This is actually a bit of an interesting matchup. Yo, sup, what we playing today, sir? Uh, well, we just played, like, a good hour of Expanded Behem. Uh, the deck... Actually, it wasn't that bad. Even when we lost games, I think the deck was still pretty cool and fun to play. Um, but now we are switching it up, and we are playing a... We're playing the Birds Trio ho -Oh deck. Because this is a fun deck to play. I still don't know what video I want to record for tomorrow. I still don't know what uh, video I want to record for tomorrow. But uh, I was like, right, let's just stream before we make a video, because maybe we can come up with some cool ideas on stream. Maybe I just won't upload tomorrow. I don't know. Silent Lab is a little scary because it shuts off half of our deck. That's why I don't really like this deck too much because Silent Lab destroys you. And there's the Silent Lab. We do have Faba though, so it's not the end of the world. We can even get rid of the Double Dragon Energy, which might be big. I don't know, if we don't draw something, I might concede. No, we have Pyro though. Even if we get knocked out, I guess we can still go back with Pyro, so it's not too big a deal. Like, I think Pyro might actually win us the game here unless he plays Garbodor. <coughs> Alright, that was a good top deck. See, I guess we just lose our boy here. Or maybe I should do uh, Faba, get rid of the double dragon. He's got two cards in his hand. And he's labbed. Yeah, let's just do it. S screw it. He might not have an answer to that. I miss Behem. Yeah, don't worry. Though. Once uh, the stream is finished, it uh, probably will be uploaded to the channel. And then you can just watch it back. I mean, I could fab him out of the game, too. That is one reason why I think Ultra Necrozma is terrible, is because everyone is going to tech fab in their decks now. Yeah, I don't think he has an answer to Pyro, though. I think we can win with just Pyro. We'll see. There's a treasure. He could be playing Garboder, which would shake things up a little bit. If we ever get to the point where we can do Sky Legends, we can knock out the Shaman to win the game, too. Which is cool. Alright, what are the odds he plays Garboder? Okay, Muck is actually not going to be Garb, which actually means he has no answer to Pyroar. Okay, that is pretty much game then, I think. Unless he has energy for that. Ooh, we did get Scramble Switch. I might just play that and go straight into the Pyroar and just start to build it up. The Scramble Switch, the main idea with that is so that if you can't do Ninja Boy, you can Rebirth into ho -Oh, and then you can Retreat the ho -Oh and Scramble Switch into a new boy. We didn't get an energy, though. Rip. Okay. We'll just Battle Comp. Get rid of you, get rid of you, get rid of you. I'm not going to discard any energy. Don't need to. Yeah, no energy kind of sucks. Whatever, though. It's either I build up the, the Bird Trio or I build up the Pyro. I don't really know what's better. You can Goose Mahala, which won't find him any things. I think it just searches for a Stadium. Another Battle Comp. Alright, we'll uh, just keep playing them then, I guess. Get rid of Shaman, Mew, and one more Battle Compressor. We could Faba. I think we just pass. We can just keep Via Seeking for Faba. I think that might be better than just going for a Juniper here. Or we can't end him, obviously. So I think we just kind of chill out with what we got. We can keep playing Faba here and just keep removing all his energy off the board. And he'll be out of energy eventually. 
We could even Ninja Boy into, um, to like Lele, and then we don't have to give up three prizes. Maybe I shouldn't have got rid of Mew, because then I could maybe just Ninja Boy into Mew and give up a prize. That might have actually been better. Ah, whatever. We can always shuffle Mew back with an end. It's not too bad. I mean, we don't need to do much else right now. We are just, uh, we're just chilling. Pyroar is a big boy, and it is being very good. We just need to find energy now. Just need to get energy. That's all we need. Pyroar is busted. I'm actually starting to think we should just put this guy into the Behem deck. Maybe cut out one Hoopa, play a Pyroar. Maybe play a Litleo and a Pyroar, because we can use the Litleo with the Fruit Tree cost that we have here in this deck. There's a Battle Compressor. We'll play that again. We'll get rid of the other Lele, and uh, that's about it, actually. That's everything else I want to keep. Let me get rid of a Ninja Boy. We probably don't need Ninja Boy. Other than getting this back, but you know, whatever. I think we win the game no matter what. Like, I don't think he has an answer to Pyroar. If he plays Garboder, that is a yikes. But if he doesn't, then we should be okay. And I don't think he does play Garboder. We might have just won the game by winning just by with Pyroar. That is pretty impressive. I think we definitely should have Pyroar to that Behemoth deck, though. Okay, we haven't found a single energy yet, which is a little alarming. Even if I draw Viridian, I still don't even think I play it because Viridian does help him out quite a bit. Oh, never mind. Muck is in play now, so it doesn't even matter. But yeah, he shouldn't have an answer to me. Still no energy. Okay. Oh, we can actually remove my energy with Luster of Downfall. Oh, I didn't even know that. Okay, well, you know what? I think we can still win by decking him out, maybe. I shouldn't have played those battle comps now. Ooh. Oh, that's a yikes. Oh, well, we can always fab him. Why didn't I do fab a last turn? <laughs> okay, now I'm starting to play like an idiot. Okay. I wasn't even paying attention. Okay. Put my head back in the game. We're just going to be a seeker for Faba. We have enough via seekers to fab him. I'm, I'm going to save the energy, too. Once he's out of energy, we'll start attaching energy. We don't have that many fires in the deck, so we should just wait until he's out of energy before we start attaching. Alright, pass again. We'll just keep doing Faba. And then we can attack him and take our prizes with Scorching Fang. He can Guzma this up at some point. Doesn't look like he wants to, though. Shouldn't have played Battle Compressor, though. I do regret that. So we actually don't really have a way to go shuffle. I might just start attaching now, then. Force him to play the energy so we can discard it. Like, I don't think we'll ever run out of energy. I guess you just have enough double dragons to knock me out, though. Or to make me run out of fire. Now we'll see. Uh, we could just end him here. Take that option away from him. Make him find another double dragon. If we end him to six. But then we lose access to Faba. I think we just Scorching Fang. Discard an energy. Oh, he, does he get to choose? You worried about stream snipers? Nah, not really, Chris. There's only 22 people watching, so I'm not really too worried about stream snipers today. I don't really know what this deck could be, like, countered by, though, either. I guess maybe, like, Night March. Maybe. Okay, we just keep knocking him out. Seems good. Oh, we should have field blowered. Stupid fighting fear ball was misleading. It said he had 60 HP left. Whatever. No, he had 90. Whatever. Doesn't look like he has, doesn't look like he has the energy. We're Gucci. Uh, I shouldn't have played all those battle comps, but I think we're fine. I forgot that he could actually still get rid of my energy. 
I think we can still take all our prizes though beforehand. Even though we are going to be short fire energy, so I don't really know. Should probably start to end him soon. We could Guzma bring up the muck. Alright. Nice. He's played. He has to play that double the dragon. Ooh, the other double dragon. Should have knocked out the Necroz in the last turn. Though. We might run out of fires. Now I regret only playing three. There's no way to get fire back, I don't think. We could go Ho-Oh. We could still win by taking our prizes. I think we can still win with, like, Sky Legends, too. We can knock this out and knock this out. He's gonna choose the Fire Energy. Yeah. We can always Kaylin Cynthia, too, for N. We can just run him out of energy. We can literally win the game with this thing. Cause we have no, but I guess we can't do muck. And I guess we can still build this guy up manually. Oh, we don't have a fire though. I get we can attack with Tapu Lele, which I think is gonna just be our best option. We're just gonna have to tag with Lele here. Yeah, we'll play his last double dragon, we fab it away, and then we attack with Tapu Lele. He goes into Shaman. No, oh, and he Guzma, oh, is he gonna take his three prizes? That's fine. If he does that, we still set up the fab at end play. And then we bench Tapu Lele and build it up. You can't stall me either because I have Guzma. Oh, he plays DCE too? Bruh. That's frustrating. Hmm. Okay, looks like we're gonna Guzma this up then and try to get damage on it. This is a weird game. I might have threw it when I did all those battle compressors, to be honest with you. I might have threw the game. Yeah, Guzma Lele, yeah, I did. Uh, ooh, he's going to end me first. Okay, that's fine. I actually think we actually have more card left now. Yeah, we definitely do. Okay, so now we're not in the race of getting decked out. Okay, cool. I like to see it. If he prizes his last double drag energy, I think we just win the game. Unless... Oh, he could knock this out. He's gonna get that via Seeker. He's gonna get back the Guzma Hala. Okay, that's annoying. That will guarantee him the double dragon. We don't have that via Seeker, though. We can just fab that off immediately, though. So we're Gucci. We are a Gucci. We actually could have knocked out this guy with Mew. Or whatever. We can just keep attacking Lele. Lele can get knocked out by our Lele soon. Either way, he has 13 cards left. I might just deck him out. Especially now that he has to discard cards from his hand. We might have just won by deck out now, I think. We can deck him out first. Unless he has a stretcher. Have we played a stretcher? We have, rip. There's that last double dragon, but we can... That means we can't attack with Pyro anymore, which means we will have to go with that Lele option. But we can fab that off. Maybe he won't retreat here. Let's see. If he doesn't retreat, we're... Ah, oh, he does retreat. And he gets back the DCE too. Well, this thing is still very heavily damaged, so it's not even a big deal. We can still knock it out very easily. This attack is stupid, though. I don't know why it discards energy, but that is bad. But we might be out of fires now. I guess we targeted the monk. We will never have to worry about that. Yeah, we're going to Faba. Now I think we win, unless he uh, can Guzma. 
We have float too, so we can just float stone the Moltres. This is why Quad Faba beats Ultra Necrozma, folks. All those double dragons are gone. They're no longer available to my opponent. Let's see. There's a Cynthia. That could buy him some extra time, I guess. There's Lele. So we should definitely start to build this guy up soon to uh, start taking our prizes. So I, maybe we can win by deck out. Maybe he only plays the one... Um, the one... Uh, the one DC. We can maybe just Kaylin Cynthia Faba that away. We have another Via Seeker. I didn't even realize. Wow. Okay. Nope. Back into the Pyroar. Bay, my opponent is completely regretting not playing Garboder now. Hits me with the well played. We'll give him the well played back. Looks like we won with Pyroar, folks. Even though we ran out of fires, yeah, Pyroar won us the game. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And we get to do some daily damage. You love to see it. Maybe this deck is busted. That was a pretty long match, too. Holy cow. Okay, I'm going to change the music again. We can also change up our decks. Uh, let's put on... Put on the Sea of Time remix. How loud is this? Turn up a little bit. Okay. Let me know if that's too loud. So we can do another game with the Bird's Tree deck. Um, or we can play a different deck now. Let's play another game with Bird's Tree. Because that game, I guess, counted, but didn't count at the same time. It's weird. It's complicated. I see what we're up against next. Water deck again. Well, we don't have to worry about the healing too much this time. If he does play Keldeo, we might be a little in trouble because we only have Mew to attack it. We do win the coin flip. That's good. We start with both Litleo and Shaman. That is fine. We have the Ninja Boy, so we could actually go for a turn one thing here, possibly. That's pretty exciting. Oh, so he's playing a Blastoise Piplup deck. Okay. Once again, we could win with just Pyroar. <laughs> Pyroar is just so good it wins us games because the opponent has no answer to it. Wow. I actually think Pyroar could literally win us the game here. That's amazing. I said Lilio. Never mind, it's not going to win us the game. Okay, I guess we just have to attack then with our boy. So we can go for the ho -Oh here. Hope to get rebirth heads. Bruh. Uh, we gotta bench this guy, I think. Hmm. We can lately for Caitlyn Cynthia and draw three cards. Try to maybe get another Battle Compressor. They're all in the deck. So yeah, I think we just go for the uh, Caitlyn Cynthia. We got 30 viewers in the stream now. So yeah, welcome everybody to the stream. Let's see what we get. Eh, we did get another Battle Compressor. Nice. So that was a... A good a card. Uh, we'll get rid of Marsh Shadow. I don't really think we're going to need that. Get rid of a water. Okay, this is good. Let's get two... Ch we get some more chances at Rebirth. And we get heads. All right, nice. We aren't going to be able to get the thing in play because we already did our supporter. But we're Gucci. All right. Beautiful turn one. Beautiful. All right, I'm going to turn the light on in my room. There we go. Okay, and he just bubbles me. Okay, so we can win here if he doesn't get heads. Okay, so we can win if we can find our float. Which we top deck. All right, that's game. Wow. Rip my opponent. But I will take the wins because we need all the wins we can get. Um, because we do, of course, need to finish this ladder. We need to get that nice, beautiful full art Guzma. Or the full art uh, Chorus, sorry. That's game. Rip. That was a really good turn on my turn one on my end. Like we had a really good start. Hi, I'm a big fan's greeting from Chile. Yo, that is pretty sick. It's pretty cool, Claudio, to know 
to have viewers from all around the world. That is pretty cool. But yeah, welcome to the stream, man. Thank you for coming by, and I'm glad and I appreciate that you enjoy my content. Top tech locker. Yeah, that was pretty nuts. Um, okay. Uh, we can continue to play games, I guess. Why not? We're getting close to 600 coins, which is hopefully what we can get by the end of the stream. Feels like I've been streaming for a lot longer, but it's literally only been an hour and 20 minutes. It literally feels like two hours. All right, we lose the coin flip. That's a rip. That is a big dip. Ooh, we got the worst starter too. The bird trio. Not a terrible hand though, to be honest. I'm a viewer from Netherlands. Hello, hey yo, Philippe. How you doing? Thank you for coming by on today's stream. But yeah, it's pretty, it's cool to know, like, having viewers from all around the world. It is pretty sick. Had to get a good top tick sometime in the stream. Yeah, I know. We did have that insane uh, turn against, uh, ooh, Rayquaza Vikabolt. We had that insane turn against Picaron with the Behem deck where we, like, really got really, really lucky. And we were able to find everything we needed off of an Ace Trainer and one Forewarn. Germany here, Poggers, and UK. Yeah, it's insane. Because, like, I'm from Canada, and usually it's like a Canada, US viewers, but having viewers from all around the planet is pretty sick. That's one cool thing about YouTube, is you can interact with people from across the world. That is pretty, well, I guess Twitch, you do the same thing, but I don't know. Whenever you do a video on a meta deck, your deck looks often pretty good. That's why I like you. Thank you, Nintendo Ruben. I do appreciate it. If you have time, play with your Nightmarch ADP, please. Yeah, I could do one game with that. I've kind of just stopped playing it all together recently just because of how prevalent... We'll do this first. Oof. Or maybe not. We'll grab that. Just because of how uh, prevalent Ranger is now. Everyone just kind of found out the answer to, um, to ADP was just play Pokemon Ranger. And it completely shuts off Altered Creation for the rest of the game. Okay, so we can potentially do something here. We'll see. We should see. This matchup shouldn't be too bad, though, as long as we can get a quick setup going. Been watching for ages. I appreciate it, Chris. Uh, what time's in Canada? Right now it is 3.09 p.m. Hi, what are you playing? Oh, Robin, I am playing a Ho-Oh uh, Ninja Boy Moltres Zapdos deck. Okay. Um, not ideal. I don't want to lose Scramble Switch either. Maybe I just play it going to Lilio. But we can, we can still use Pyro to wall this thing. I don't want to take damage though. So I think I will do it. Guess we're going to have to Juniper. Alright, let's see what we get here. Alright, nice. We do get Battle Compressor. We get another Lilio, which I will bench just because Pyro might actually be decent here. We'll go here, get rid of water and okay we can get rid of water and what do we have already have a hole in there yeah we do okay we'll get rid of we'll just get rid of the three energies then we only have one rebirth here but let's see if we can get it we do not well let's see if he has rare candy vehicle in a five card hand It's 9 p.m. in Germany. Damn. Yeah, I know time zones are all different. That's pretty nuts. So you're watching at night then, Rapix. Looks like he does have the rare candy Vika Volt. That is kind of annoying. Wow. I guess he Volknerd for the rare candy. I don't know. That's pretty annoying. I remember back in the day when Vika Volt was big and standard. Every time, every game, they'd always have turn one Vika Volt. Even without like a turn one Lily or anything, they'd always have it. Hola, are you going to play Reshiram? I don't know, um... Uh, sorry, I can't pronounce your name that well. I don't want to. I don't want to butcher it. Um, but I don't know if I'll be playing uh, Reshi Rom today. I only have one Reshi Rom too, but I wouldn't mind trying out that Reshi Rom. Um, the Reshi Rom. Uh, I don't even know what I'm trying to say now. Uh, the Reshi Rom Ho -Oh deck that's catching some buzz. I hate when Ho -Oh EX troll me when flip heads. I hate it when it flips tails, really. Okay, Baton is fine. We got Flowers for days. We have Faba. So Pyro can buy us some time here. He's actually in top deck mode now, which is good. I don't know why I didn't just Lele for like a Sycamore or something. Oh, he's going to Tempest. Okay, that's pretty good, I guess, for him, but not for me. 
That was a good top deck because I don't know if I want to do Juniper here. I don't even know if I have the other uh, ho or the Bird Trio in my deck. I think we'll find out. I shouldn't have actually fall Pyro now. Shoot, I could have retreated and attacked him. Okay, that was a pretty big misplay. Um, we don't have N. I don't even know if the birds are in my deck. I guess we're going to find out. Sup, Dark? Yo, Albert, how you doing, man? Thank you for coming by on today's stream once again. Once again, my bruh. Okay, it's in the deck. Nice. Oh, yes, Tail, sorry. Yeah, it does suck. It sucks quite a bit. All right, well, let's hope he doesn't have a Guzma in that nice fat hand. He already played one, and it looks like he's playing a, a Sun and Moon on deck. Because <laughs> I don't really see any signs of anything that's, like, from, like, Expanded. He might just be playing the Sun and Moon on version from like before. We'll see. This deck is fun though, but I don't know. I shouldn't have evolved. That was stupid. I wasn't really thinking about the idea of retreating there, but now I'm gonna regret it. Now I'm really gonna regret it. Solo Pyro is definitely big. I wish we had an end though. Yeah, I'm really kicking myself for doing that. I don't know. We can build up this bird guy in the background, which is kind of cool. We just bunch a shaman. So yeah, this is definitely a Sun and Moon on version of Vicare. We're going to have to hope to get float off Juniper. I really hope he doesn't have a Guzma, because that is going to be very sad. That is going to be very, very bad. Uh, do you think that the old Keldeo Blastoise deck from Black and White Arrow would be viable and expanded? Probably not, RJ. Uh, just because Archie's Toys is like the best way to play Blastoise, but you can play a one of Keldeo in that deck. It's decent in some matchups. I traded Red and Blue Flower for six packs. Was that clever? Eh, Red and Blue might be going for more than six packs right now, Albert. Depending on what six packs. If it was six Cosmic Eclipse, like it's not the worst pack to get, but like Red and Blue, I think is a lot more than six packs right now. It's not by much, but like it's still like I think worth more than six. <sighs> he does have it? Oh, he actually brings in the other Bird Trio. Okay, that's fine. I don't know why I wouldn't bring in my main attacker. Yeah, but I don't mind if I do. I Alright, Juniper for float. We did not find it. Uh, do we have Lele or no Shami? We do have Shaman, okay. Is it in the deck? Yes, it is. We have Dedenne too, so we should find the float. And they're both in the deck. Do Ultra Ball first. Maybe I should just go to Dene. That's our third via Seeker, though. Yeah, I'm just gonna go to Dene then, whatever. Let's go to Dene. Screw it. Alright, we need Float and Field Blower would be good, too. Nice, we got both. Alright. Trini Bernadette. We can win the game with just this guy too, possibly. We'll see. I should have taken the knock at the turn earlier though. That might honestly cost me game, but we can build this guy up in the background. Do you think that the old Kelly I already read that? Pyro carry on the entire game. Yeah, that pyro was clutch metal across the match. Four unbroken bonds and two cosmic eclipse. Yeah, that was not a good trade, Albert. Red and blue fullard is worth a lot more than those packs. You could have put it up for like eight or seven Cosmic Eclipse packs, and you probably could have gotten the trade to go through. I've been playing a while, didn't know Archie's was banned. It's not banned, RJ. Maxie's is banned, but not Archie. Or not Archie's, yeah. What's up, man? Yo, Seth, how you doing? Thank you for coming by on the stream. I am doing good, my dude. What about you? Okay, so... As long as we have one more Ninja Boy, which we do, we can still, like, clutch up. Uh, he might be able to get a knockout this turn, though. No, actually, I don't think he has enough energy in play. Never mind. Never mind. Alright, let's see some big discards off of Stormy Winds. No, he doesn't go for it. Okay. Ooh, one energy left. Okay, nice, nice. 
210 damage. Okay. He might not have much energy left. That's pretty good. And he concedes. Alright, there we go. We won. Not bad. The deck worked. And we got 50 coins. So we are getting some coins, which is nice. Alright, well, I think we'll switch up the deck from the Birds 3 deck. Um, but not bad, not bad. But yeah, if you guys missed earlier, we were playing this Bahia Musharna deck here. Speaking of which, I think I'm going to add Pyro to the deck. I'm not going to play it again, though, because we played like a good hour of it and I'm already bored of it. Um, I might do a video on this deck, maybe. We'll see. Um, but we are going to add in Pyro. What else should I take out, though? I don't know. Like, I want to play more than just the uh, Ditto Pyro engine. I think we should play Pyro with something else. Maybe I'll just cut out Amuna and just go, like, Litleo. Just because Pyro literally wins his games. So we might as well just play the Litleo and the Pyro. Here we go. Seems good. I'm not going to play this deck again, though, but I thought I'd update it. So what decks do I have? So I did build quite a bit of decks the other night. Uh, we can hop into Standard. How much does Lana's Rod, Secret Rare, and Oak setup go? Oak you can get for like two Cosmic Coast packs. Lana is the same thing, two Cosmic Coast packs. They're both like the cheapest. And Roller Skater. Roller Skater is also really cheap. Okay, cool. I might have to try it out just for fun. I have all the, I have all my cards still. Misunderstood. It will be set my bad. No, it's all good, RJ. It's all Gucci. I'm good. About to drive home, but I'm listening to the stream. Yo, nice, Seth. I do appreciate it, my, uh, my guy. <laughs> what does Pyro do? Pyro has uh, the ability where it can't be damaged by basics. So we're going to try, we could try out this Lost March Birds deck, but I don't want to lose my win streak, so that's actually a bad idea. I kind of want to play this Leafy on Vileplume GX deck I built. This is like a really insane archetype if it gets set up. But yeah, I did build quite a few decks here last night. Because I was like, okay, we need to keep building decks for videos because I'm running out of deck ideas. I'm running out of deck ideas. We do win the coin flip. We're up against a dragon deck. This could be ADP. We'll have to see. I think ADP might be a little scary. We don't have an answer to Keldeo. We did get that turn with Leafeon. We have an OP starting hand too. Elm, Leafeon, and we have a Vile Plume. Not bad at all. This deck might be the best meme deck ever. I guess we should play three Vile Plume GX. One Vile Plume with the ability. Yeah, okay. We should probably do that. Because then we have an answer right away. He's playing Tina Chomp. That's fine. As long as we have ways to heal, we should be Gucci. We get Triple Oddish. As long as we don't draw Gloom here, we are going to be in a good spot. The only problem is we can't build up Leafeon in that in quick enough, but we can get a bunch of Plumes in play. This might be better than the Egg Rowl build, to be honest. Well, not, no, it's not, but like, it might be, I don't know. Isn't that like Keldeo, but better? Keldeo's only GXs, though. Pyro is just any basic, so like, even like Joltik from Night March can't even damage it. Which is pretty busted. Alright, we're gonna change up the music again. Because I feel like that song's been on for long enough. So, Sea of Time. Alright, now what? Let's put on the Team Galactic Battle Remix. That is loud. Alright, I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. There we go. That should be good. Let me know if the music is too loud. Okay. There's a green. Oh, by the way, guys. A quick uh, sponsor plug here. Should probably definitely get that going. Um, Car Cavern TCG at the moment is doing a special where i think it, it goes till december 23rd or 22nd um but it is a best of three that is very big i need to shrink that all right but yeah they ha they're having this like buy um what is it buy three get one free over at car cavern right now which is pretty lit so you guys want to get on that you can do it they they have a select thing not everything in the stop can be used with this deal but it is pretty cool you can get like a bunch of you get a lot of 50 codes for free which i think is pretty sick and yo, Albert, right, with the 20 doll or the 20 peso donation. Thank you, Albert. I do appreciate it, bro. Everyone, let's get some hearts in the chat for my boy Albert. Even though it might not be the biggest donation, any money is appreciated. Like even a dollar. You know what I mean? So yeah. Shout out to my boy. Oh, we might get a... Uh, we might get Oh, we drew a gloom. Rip. I guess we already get the oddish in play. We might get resetted. No, we don't. Okay, linear attack. He actually gets an oddish, which is no pun intended, kind of odd. I think we're in a pretty good spot right now. I get, He could GGN me off the board, which is kind of annoying. I think we should spread out the energy then. We can stall him out by healing constantly, I think. Hey, what is Elm again? That Tina Chomp deck is very cool, unless you don't get all you need. It's a pretty interesting deck, for sure. Uh, do we want to bench anything else? 
I might just go with Quad Plume. All right, let's go Disgust Ir Irresistible Aroma. Never mind, we don't get to see what his hand is. Rip. We're gonna go for that Grand Bloom GX, and we are gonna get a bunch of Vile Plumes in play. This is how this deck works, people. Well, not a bunch of Vile Plumes, but we are setting up to get a bunch of Vile Plumes in play. I don't really know how well this works, but now we have four Glooms in play, and we can go with a bunch of Vile Plumes. But definitely, I think we should play um, that other Vile Plume with the ability to possibly affect him by Special Condition. It's probably better than the uh, Plumes we got. Alright. The problem here is it's just building up energy on Leafeon. That is the issue, especially with a matchup like this where they could GGM me off the board anytime they want. Oh, I guess they couldn't have done GGM, but we wouldn't have been able to two-shot anyway, so it didn't really matter. I also watched your vid about the Greninja Break deck and Expanded. I built it, and I'm just waiting to be able to play again because there's not a lot of people who played in my area. Greninja Break is pretty clutch though, but yeah, good luck if you do play it, RJ. I mean, we can play some frogs today on stream. It's been a while since I've actually played Greninja. Like, I liked playing it at first when, like, Mewtwo was everywhere and expanded, because it was like, alright, Shadow Stitching, and, uh, yeah, I win the game. That was a good draw. I hate how he could just GGM me off the board. That is very annoying. Let's take a peek at his hand. Nothing. So we can just Gardenia here, too. Wait, what? Heal. Huh. I guess I had to click. That's annoying. Uh, so we can Gardenia if worst case comes... Worst case scenario. Um... I do want to get an energy in play. He'll just hit me again for 160. I think we just go Caitlyn Cynthia. I don't know. This deck might just take too many L's to this Tina Chomp deck. No more Vile Plume. That sucks. We're going to spread out the energy a little bit more, just so we have two Vile Plume options. How many Leafeon do you use in this deck? Uh, just two. I have a th three, two Leafeon line. I think I play a few of these, but then I also have the other Evolutions that uh, allow you to get more HP and do more damage. <laughs> he power plants me. Alright, we're just going to concede. I don't even think that, yeah, we're not going to win. GG end and power plant. I have like no stadiums in the deck. I do, but not a lot. I only have one life force, so like, yeah. We lose the power plant. It's a cool idea. I don't know. We just lost our five win streak now, so now we can switch over to a more, I guess, worse deck. This is my Lost March Birds deck. It is a budget deck, so that's kind of why I built it, If you know, so I can make like a budget video for you guys. We can try out this uh, Lost March Birds deck. I might even play the Miltank Birds deck I got built. I know you guys might want to see that in action. Sir Charles playing a Fighting Water Metal deck. A lot of types. Don't know what to expect. There's a, a lot of types. Alright. Not a bad start, I guess. Uh, we'll start Cottony. Probably won't need it here. Probably won't need it. Oh, he's playing Rampardos. Okay. <laughs> That's a pretty good matchup, I would say. That is a pretty good matchup. Uh, again, in tourneys, it would be fun to watch you go through with all that intention and concentration. I might buzz, but I do want to grind the ladder, though, more than I want to do tourneys. Because uh, I don't really think they have any uh, special tourneys going on right now. Like, back when there was Cosmic Cliffs tourneys, uh, I was grinding those, like, no tomorrow, just because, you know, you get a lot of packs, but... Yeah, there's not really many tourneys going on right now. Looks like he's playing the Rampardos Dolls deck, so it might be similar to the list I had, which I can't remember what else I had, other than the Dragons. Other than the Salamences. Maybe he doesn't play that, though. That's the Ting. Maybe he doesn't play that. Guess we'll find out. Uh, Love Lost March was my first PCGO deck. Now it is safe in the folder of decks. 
Yeah, it was once a cool deck. Never really took off, though, which is kind of surprising, because it's not like the worst archetype ever. But now that we have two relevant types being Grass and Fairy, maybe this deck gets, you know, some credit. I think it just gets bodied by Malamar, though, and Malamar is just too good for this deck to handle, I think. Like, Malamar... This deck just cannot be Malamar. I think that's, like, kind of the main issue with the deck. It can't be Malamar, but I don't know. It's not bad. And I do like our start here. Turn one Elm. So we're going to go hop, hip, hop, hip. We're going to get a bird. We're going to Pokecom for another bird, too. But, yeah. Nightmarch birds. This might be the way to play Nightmarch, people. Might be the way to play it. I guess we could play it pretty slow, too, which is kind of nice, because my opponent is playing a Rampardos deck. Yeah, they, they, they kind of realize that my deck is, like, kind of good. We'll uh, just do this, because why not? I have one Recycle, by the way, because you use Recycle and Counter Gain with Cottony and Natu, and they get it back, so you have, like, more energy to work with. Because I have a lot of games where I was playing Nightmarch and I ran out of energy, and I've seen that happen to other people, too. So having both is pretty good. Having the both is pretty good. There's a Stadium Nav. You get heads. What stadiums could they play, other than the the dojo in the fossil stadium. Alright. There's a Cynthia getting played. There's a Stellar Wish. Our main attacker here will be Jumpluff. As long as we can uptrade in prizes, we should be good. But he does have this Lily's Poke Doll, though, which is kind of bad. So I don't really know how I feel about that. I was thinking about putting a Pidgeot in this deck, too. There's a Pidgeot that I think for 2 energy to 60 and you can put your opponent's Pokemon in back in their hands. That could be a kind of fun troll. Using that on Rampardus guy should be kind of evil. There's a Karate Belt. Alright. They could knock me out this turn, which could be pretty bad if we don't fight an energy. Hopefully they don't knock me out, though. Okay, yeah. There's gonna get more uh, little cranny doses in play. Okay. So we're going to start the ball off by doing all of this. We're going to go for that floral path. And all of our jump puffs are there, but we did buy the skip loom. That's kind of worrying. We're going to do this first. Ooh. I think we're just going to get the Pidgeotto. We don't really need the grass energy right now. Play this. There's a Rosa. We'll take it. I already should have gotten the Elm, yeah, and then we get more skip looms. That was bad. Alright, give me an Elm off of this. Trumbeak? Sure, we'll take that. Don't really think we need the Netball right now because we have Rosa. We could maybe hit a Stadia or a Supporter now. Okay. Right, I guess we'll just pass. I would like to play the Counter Gain on one of these Cottonies or something, but it's all good. Happy Holidays, Young Legend. Yo, ADVGYM, how you doing, man? Happy Holidays to you too, brother. Um, but yeah. ADVGYM, if you don't know, he's a good friend of mine on this game. He's a legend, too. He's a legend. But yeah, shout out to ADVGYM. But yeah, welcome, dude. How you doing? How you doing? I haven't seen you in a while, actually, on Twitter. Okay. So let's see what happens here. He can, he can start to take prizes, which I am fine with, because then we can make use of counter gain and cottony at some point, or counter gain Natu. It looks like he's going to switch into the... Okay, so yeah, he realizes he wants to take the first prize. That's fine. We have the Rosa. So we guarantee ourselves a knockout here, right? We do the energy. Okay. So we'll play the Rosa. We'll get ourselves Skip Bloom. Get the grass. We get a trainer. Let's we'll take another Rosa. Just kind of keep looping Rosa here. little path. We want to get more skip blooms here. Maybe another hop hip too. Or even just like a Natu or something or a Cotney because we can attack with the counter game. Trumbeak. Yeah, we'll take that I guess. We're going to only one shot him but we should probably just burn these Trumbeaks. Pidgey and Recycle. Take the Recycle. We could just take the Pidgey though and Lost Blender both of these away. I actually kind of like that. Yeah, let's do that. We probably don't need this Pidgey right now because we already have the birds to play. So yeah, we can draw an extra card. Might as well. And that paid off pretty well. Alright, let's see what they do. They have that Quad Rampardos, so that's pretty scary. 
We also got some quad things going too. So not have a fossil. So these things might be a little hard to deal with, but we can always just retreat, fall back into like something if we really have to. But I think we could win the prize trade because I think we have more attackers than they do. I guess they have Aerodactyl too, which could be an issue. This I actually kind of want to just go for the Cotton Knockout, which we can get. All right, we'll do Rosa again. <laughs> we'll get the Skip Bloom. We'll get the Netball. We'll get a grass. We'll get the netball because I do want a netball here for um, another hop hip. I think we'll attack here with the uh, the natu. Seems good. We'll do all of this first before I get the natu out of the deck. I want to get recycle energy and I don't want to play a grass energy on natu. So let's see if we can find recycle energy. We'll play this. Get the natu. Doesn't matter what I get. Connie, not to. Same thing. Give me a tip, please. I don't have enough resources to find a computer search. How to play, not to play an expanded deck. Which card? Uh, the best way to replace computer search would just be play another A spec. I think the best A spec to replace it would be um, Master Ball. Like, some of the A specs are kind of expensive. Um, okay. So looks like I'm going to have to burn a grass. Am I just knocking out with Jump Bluff then? Because he's going to keep taking a prize every single turn. Ooh, he has Caracosta. Maybe I just take the counter gain knockout now while that option might still be available. I don't like using this grass energy though, but whatever. I think we prize the grass and we also prize the skip limb. But the best like replacement is just Master Ball. Like, not having an A-spec in your deck, it's not the end of the world if you can't fit an A-spec in your deck. Because it's only one card. So it's not like the worst thing ever. Base set and base set two are cheaper than the black and white era, era one. What base set, uh, RJ? Hi there. Yo, Richard, how you doing? Thank you for coming by on the stream. Daz Machine is an option. The problem is, though, is they are, uh, Daz Machine and Computer Search are both pretty expensive. That's, like, the main issue with them, I think, is, like, Daz Machine and, I like, know Comp Search is, like, I think over 20 packs, which is kind of insane. I have five locked Comp Search. If I could, I would give away Comp Search, but I have five of them locked. I have none for trade. I only have one Daz Machine, one comp or one scoop up, one life do, and only one scramble switch. Yeah, Master Ball is like your best option just because it's the cheapest thing, Philippe. It is the cheapest A spec. It's not that great of an A spec, but you know, it's something, you know. Okay. We're gonna switch up the song again. And we're gonna go to let's play the Viridian Forest remix. Let me know if that's too loud. So it was a good thing I went for the uh, the counter game play now, but we might not have a we might not have enough grass energy, which is the only problem. All right, what am I doing? What am I doing? I think I just Cynthia. What are we looking at here? Netball Rosa. All right, we'll air mail. Take the Trumbeak. Daz Machine is like twelve. Compared to comp, yeah, comp is a, it, yeah, Dazzle Machine is still like over 10 packs. It is still an expensive card. But like, I think it would, yeah, the cheaper one is Life Do. Really? That's interesting. Let's go Mountain Press. Okay, so we, he, we know he's gonna knock me out here. I think we just rose the next turn too. So we'll Netball. That's our last Grass Energy. So, yikes. We still have the counter gain option, but once he care causes me, that is taken away. So, we'll have to see what our prize is. Alright, we got another jump bluff. That's good. Kind of wish I had a stamp right now. We can run him out of an attackers, though, possibly. I don't think he's playing welder. There's the Caracosta. So counter gain is gone for good now. That is pretty bad. Now that counter gain option is taken away. He can sit behind dolls too. Uh, we might not be able to win this, guys. I don't know. This might actually be a little tough. We just don't have enough energy. This is the issue with, with Lost March, guys. Sometimes you just don't have enough energy to finish games off. If I didn't use that grass energy on Natu, I think we might have been okay. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. 
should have waited a turn, but I didn't have the recycle energy. But I had the recycle energy option earlier. Should have taken it then. Yeah, this is not good. I think we don't have enough energy to win this. Unless we get a grass off the prizes, I don't think we can win this game. I don't think we have game gas, unfortunately. Wish we played more grass. We have one recycle energy. I wish recycle was a grass, but it can't be. Rock art being the worst ace back. Oh yeah, I forgot rock art existed. Um, I'm just gonna have to hope our prize is grass. I'm just gonna elm. I don't even know if we have a grass energy left in the deck either, or in the prizes. I, maybe I'm going crazy and I don't have any grass energy left altogether. If I'm out of grass, we just lose. Wish I had a reset stamp. Like he's out of stuff completely. So if I could stamp him here, that'd be great. Alright, grass energy. No. As long as... Well, if he doesn't knock me out, maybe we'll be okay. Yeah, I don't think actually he can. But we can't take a prize. We're gonna have to retreat into, like, the other jump off. But I guess we get decked out first. Maybe. We can always get back to Cynthia, though. Okay, maybe we can win by maybe decking him out. I don't really know. These specs are special items that you can only have one of in a deck. Yeah, exactly. They are, for only being a one of card, some of them go for quite a bit. The worst safe spec is the tools one. Yeah, rock guard and life do. Life do is actually better than rock guard, I would say. I actually use life do in a few archetypes. You can't have more than one A spec, yes. You can't play like life do, computer search, and thing all in the same deck. It is not allowed. Oh, he concedes? What? Yo, we actually... Wow, he conceded. All right. Yeah, we had six grass energy. We just prized one. Okay, Lost March Birds taking a dub. All right, let's try out this Mill Tank Birds deck. So the whole idea of this deck is it is basically just Mill Tank Birds. You're trying to get Moo Moo milks in your hand for a milk cannon. You do 240 damage. You bonk stuff in the face. And you also use Baby Blacephalon in the deck for backup support and Victini and Heat Ran. I have no clue how good this deck is. Uh, in fact, I'm going to record and maybe get this in a video I make on the deck. Alright, we're up against a deck with a lot of types. Uh, this deck probably struggles most against ADP though, to be honest with you. Even with the Baby Blacephalon, you don't really have a good answer to one-shotting ADP. That's the only issue with this deck. But Miltink is kind of meme-worthy. And alright, we're going to get a pretty good start, I would say. Pretty good start for sure. I guess we also just kind of lose to, like, stuff that can gust you up, possibly. This deck does lose to Reset Stamp, too, because then you obviously you can't use Moo Moo Milk. My opponent's got four Pokemon in play. They must be playing a crazy deck, then. No. Another bird. That's pretty sick. Let's play this first. Got a Welder. I'm not gonna play the welder though. Alright, let's see what Stellar Witch gives me. There's a okay, there's our first Moo Moo Milk. Is it in the expanded? Probably why I haven't here much because I don't play much expanded. Yeah, they're only in expanded. Probably should do welder to Victini, to be honest with you. We need to draw. So gotta do we gotta do. More energy. Nice. Kappa. We'll see what he's playing. This man got a quad bird start, actually. Just thinking about it, this guy's starting hand had four Pidgey options. That's a pretty big bro moment, if you ask me. Ah, yes, those ones I forgot even existed. Yeah. Sorry, the one... Oh, yeah, and then you also got the uh, G-Booster and the other one for Black here. Yeah, those ones are also pretty bad. G-Booster's okay in Legacy. He is playing a control deck. Oh, my God. Well, I don't know if this is even that bad, thanks to Welder and Fire Crystal and Victini. Maybe Control isn't that bad. Yeah, Victory Piece. Victory Piece is also decent and expanded. Alright, Balebola does get rid of a Elm. Not even that bad, to be honest. Okay, thank you for powering up Victini. 
I might as well just tag with Victini in this matchup, to be honest with you. Uh, good old control. The worst deck ever made. The worst deck ever created in the history of decks. <sighs> Stellar Wish. We'll take the Elm. Remember we should well there. We need to get a switching card. And then we can knock out this stupid Pidgey pros probably in a few turns. G-Booster is okay in Legacy, and G-Scope is meh. I mean, Snipe is good, but you'd rather do, yeah. G-Booster is, like, the only good thing about it is it actually is decent in Legacy. G-Booster in Expanded right now would be probably really trash. Oh, we actually don't have that much energy in the deck. Rip. Sure. I mean, if you don't really care about energy conservation. G Booster and Expanded now would be pretty bad. I mean, if you were ever to play Virgin Verizian Genesect in Expanded, I guess you would still play G Booster, but you're only doing 200 damage. But I guess you can do things with like Emerald Slash, set things up to be killed. I don't really know. IMO, what I do know though, is a Ranguru should have been banned a long time ago. Even though Control is not winning any events, Ranguru is still a card that is degenerate, toxic, and should not exist. It's actually interesting. I saw Maulan in there. I, uh, I removed pulling a lot of victory pieces. I remember. Yeah, I have a few victory pieces too. Victini in, in Legacy though isn't even bad either because you can one-shot uh, Virgin with that... Uh, for one like thing with victory piece, you can one-shot Verizian Genesect really easily with uh, Victini EX and Expand... Or in Legacy, sorry. So it's actually not even that bad of a card. To be honest, though, I kind of want to tweet out my stream right now. I don't know how much longer I'll be streaming for. It's already 340. Actually, no, never mind. Probably won't be streaming for much longer. It's already almost been two hours, but uh, we're chilling. I'd love to do late night streams, but it is so hard when you got when I'm in a small house and like my parents will hear me with streaming and they'll tell me to shut up. I don't know if we can lose this though, to be honest with you. As much as I hate control, I actually don't know if this is even losable. Uh, do you think we'll get something like Mega Turbo for V cards? Probably not. Because that would just make them too powerful. That would just make those cards way too OP. Okay, so what we're looking for here is a skateboard, which we didn't get. I think we're fine, though, with where we're at. Like, again, I don't really think we could lose this game. I guess I should have retreated a long time. Like, no, but I couldn't. All right, whatever. Uh, well, Caitlyn, Cynthia, get rid of the Moo Moo Milk. Come on, give me that escape board. No. Should have just retreated manually. Whatever. Especially since we have a Deluge 2.0 in the next set. Exactly. Yeah, Frostmoth is looking pretty sick, though. It'll make water even more ridiculous. I think water needed the buff, though, Richard, just because... Well, maybe an expanded water might be a little broken, but it's nice that Frostmoth only works with water types. It doesn't work with Mew 3. I don't know. Archie's Choice might still be better than Frostmoth and Expanded, but we'll see. But I think Water needed the buff just because Fire types just reign dominant for way too long. Especially with this new rule change, Welder is going to be like one of the best cards ever now. So like, <laughs> I think Water needed this buff just because of how OP Welder is going to be with this uh, support rule change. It's like, okay, you go second. You get to be you're the you get to play a turn one Welder. You get two energies on for free. Yep, that's pretty OP for you. Okay, cool. You just turn one double blaze me and I got to go first and I get to get to play supporter. You know what I mean? So I think water needed this buff just because I think welder gets a lot stronger. Which is healthy for the game. And the crushing hammer and get tails. Thank you. Again, I don't think we lose this. I literally think we can just attack with Victini every single turn. When I met the Mega Turbo for V, it would make water the best type in the format yeah 
My son and I are now safely home. Nice, Seth. Glad you made it home safely. Was it snowing out or something? Was, like, the road bad? It's snowing out right now in Canada. Ooh, a reset stamp. It's snowing right now in Canada. That's why I, uh, decided to stream. He's like, yeah, I'm not doing anything today. Wilder well, should have been a prism star with it, with Lieutenant Surge. Surge being a prism actually would have been pretty balanced, too, I think. The new Frost Moth will not be so dangerous since you need to evolve in turn two until then you will get stamped. I don't know. I think Frostmoth is still OP. It's doing really well in Japan, and there's a lot of good water-type attackers you can use it with, like Keldeo V, Keldeo GX, all that good stuff. So he's going to retreat into the Guru. No, he's going to collect. We need to move Jirachi. I might just retreat. I might just retreat here. I don't see a reason not to. We just can't find a skateboard. We need to start attacking. It looks like we need more energy though for Ranguru. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Good old degenerate guru. I guess we should attack with Cephalon next turn. I just don't want to use it and then get Articuno'd. That would be very annoying. Frost Moth was needed for water, yeah. Water really needed that buff. I might just concede. I don't know if I really want to play this game out, to be honest. I don't know if I have the uh, mental capacity to play out this, this game. Now nah, we'll see what happens. I think we do have to build up Blounds now. I was thinking about benching Jirachi last turn, and then it, that would have been a bad idea. Also, you need a custom instead of Great Catcher, from what I see. Yeah, Custom Catcher is going to be the new... I think Custom Catcher is going to be just completely replacing Great Catcher now. I think, well, well no Sundex might just go four Customs, one Great Catcher. Um, but I think Custom is just going to come back to the forefront. So if you want to start up on Customs now, well, they might not be as expensive. Now would be the time to do it. Just waiting for Ability Lock to come back in Standard. There is Slacking, but that is a bad card. <laughs> but I guess Slacking would do it for you. Does he even have energy for Ranguru? There's a Surge. Losing something like Palpat at some point could be pretty bad if he ever Belebos me. This is a snore fest, though. Huh. Just waiting for Billy Log. Yeah, I already read that, Kappa. I might just concede. I don't know if I want to play this game out. Like, I'm getting bored. <laughs> I play Zapsol. Yeah, screw this. Go die in a fire control, you stupid archetype. Ban a Ranguru. <sighs> gonna move along I'm not gonna bother mentioning anything just cuz control needs to die in a fire it needs to die violently in a fire every time I play against control I usually just auto concede just cuz like bro I don't even, even if I can win I don't want to play the game cuz it's long boring and puts me to sleep now, I need to go now my work peers over I need to go home bye dude alright thank you for stopping by on the stream man hopefully you can make it to the next stream I do eventually uh, search for prism star yes but while there was need for fire because they lack energy and eh, I don't know while there was just too broken of a card the fact that it works with any Pokemon just made it too OP. Nah, it was just a long drive. Uh, I see. But glad you made home safely, Seth. That is good to hear. I will always skip birds. I know I will lose turn four. I don't, like, usually, like, concede. It's just, like, bruh. <laughs> it's just... Even if I can win, unless I'm playing, like, an OP deck that can counter birds, it's like, bruh, I just can't play against that deck. It's so boring and so painful. It, it, they also just have, like, ten minute turns. It's like, oh my god, hurry the hell up. You know what I mean? All right, let's go for the coin flip. We do win it. Yeah, I don't know how people can play birds. So, like, well, the only thing I can see people playing it with is, like, you just get, like, you can get quick concedes out of people. So, sometimes you don't actually have to play long games because your opponent will just auto-concede. But it's, like, I don't understand how people can play that deck and, like, find it fun or exciting. Your brain would literally go numb from playing that. My brain would. If I, if I were to go to a regional with birds... I would probably just lose by the time I got, even if I did well with it, I'd lose by the time I got to finals, because, like, bro, my brain would already be fried. No, you don't use Blacephalon. I don't know. Ooh. 
Buzzmosa. Okay, this might be the ADP Buzzmosa deck. Alrighty then. Let's just Elm. See what we can do here. Still a wish. For Kayla and Cynthia. We need a mill tank. We need a mill tank ASAP. You can't lose as long as you use Victini. I didn't really have a way to discard energy though. That's the only problem, Seth. No, well, no, actually, he would have just custom down my Jirachi. I don't know. The fact that like, he can just infinitely loop customs and stuff with a Ranguru, it's like. Yeah, nah, nothing I can really do. Even with the Victini in play, the absolute custom. Plus, again, I that that game would have lasted to like probably a good half hour, and the stream would have been too long, and yeah, no thanks. I have better things to do with my time than playing against degenerate toxic decks like that. I feel like I'm smack talking control too much, but it is true. New Cinchino is better than birds. I agree. Birds are good because you can use them with elm and stuff, but yeah, the Cinchino is really good. Okay, we're on the verge to like getting destroyed here very soon if we don't draw something. Welder. Okay. Pokecom? Got a Moo Moo Milk. I guess we gotta take that, I guess. Looks like Buzzmosa is going to bird us out of the game. Alright, here we go. We're looking for a Pokemon. Nope. That is very much not it. Yeah, we also need to move Jirachi. Ooh. Okay. We're getting somewhere. We're going to have to do another Elm. Put back the Pidgey. get ourselves a beautiful 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 little blown could also get victini mm. now nah, let's get myself one it's the best attacker here i saw you using musharn in one of your expanded decks on your tweet yeah i'm playing um i'm playing it in uh, my behem deck i want to play birds but the real sore loser will be me in the end <laughs> Or we her yeah, I don't know. The birds are just too toxic for the game. It's a toxic deck. There's a Guzmahala. This matchup shouldn't be bad. The uh, ultra creation would be scary, but right now my opponent doesn't really have a sign again. That once we knock this out, should be good. Even though we might get stamped and we don't have a bird in play, he could actually be synergizing me. He could take two prizes here. That could be pretty big. Kind of want him to do that because oh, we play so much amulet. My guy. I've noticed there are nerfing old ability like Mew only blocks damage and not counter like Mr. Mime. Frost Mod also to the active like Rain Dance. Yeah, they kind of nerfed it. I still think Frostmoth is more OP, though, to be honest, than Blastoise, because it's a stage one. Blastoise works with Archie, but so does Frostmoth, but... Yeah. I, I think Mew is honestly better than half of the other things we get now, just because Mew allows you to, uh... Uh... Attack. So we need to move Jirachi this turn. Well, that was Walder first. We need to move Jirachi here. If we don't move Jirachi, this won't be good. Take Heat Ran. That actually might be a good option to attack. Knock this out and then knock this out. Yeah, Jirachi ain't gonna move anytime soon, unfortunately. Yep, no Jirachi. So it's gonna get knocked out either by Beast Game or by Jet Punch. I think we just pass. Do I, I kind of want to attach the energy though to the Blacephalon because I know I'm probably going to go Heat Ran. Right, we'll bench the Heat Ran now. I don't think it'll take damage. I guess he can Jet Punch it, but whoop de do. He can't kill him with Ultimate Ray after a Jet Punch, so we should be okay. No, just pass. We'll probably just have to do Welder next turn. I've noticed that they are nerfing Oli. Yep, I already read that, Kappa. 
Oh, I should have attached because I have to retreat the heat ran. No, it's fine. I can retreat while they're fire crystal. Oh, whatever. Is that an amulet? Yeah, it is. This means this thing doesn't get knocked out by, uh, or give up three prizes. Still, though, we can easily go through these guys. It's not even a big deal. No, it looks like they're going for that alter creation now, which is kind of clever. Let me plant the heat ran, too. Alter creation. That is bad, but we should be okay. We got triple bird. We have a lot going for us right now. Okay, what we're going to do... We want to knock him out here with hot burn. That's going to be the goal, is to hot burn this thing. Now, how are we going to get there? We need to move Jirachi. Need a lot. All right, let's just go for the Stellar Wish. No, we might just be able to retreat. All right, let's do the airmails first. That's good. Miltank can knock out Buzzmosa too now with Moo Moo Milk if we ever need that option. Giant Hearth. That's another good card. Okay. Okay. We can actually just retreat now. And we'll take. And the more energy, the merrier, because this guy's already in play. Okay, so we're just going to retreat Jirachi then. Um, may not have enough energy, though. But we're still doing Welder, though. Okay, let's do this. First off, Welder to the Heat Ran. No switching card. Crap. Should have maybe done the giant hearth first. Um, we could stellar wish into a skateboard. That's the best case scenario because then we can just hot burn for the knockout. But if we don't get it, bro, like that's a big rip. You need six energy. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna be short on the knockout if I don't get there. I'm just gonna go for it. We didn't get an item at all. Ugh. Dang it. Not ideal. No, that is not ideal. Skateboard, where the heck are you? Why are you at the bottom of the deck? Oh my gosh. Oh, that's a rip for now anyways. Not the end of the world though. We can still not got ADP. Dang it, dude. That's pretty annoying though that we didn't get there. I should have done the giant hearth before I did the welder or whatever I did first. Was, yeah, I should have done that. Because that would have helped me thin a little bit. <sighs> the amulet might also be pretty bad for us. We don't play a Faba. And with Alter Creation activated now, we are screwed. We are indefinitely screwed. It's a good thing Jet Punch won't do 60 to the bench with Alter Creation. Alter Creation only affects the active. I'm already missing Marshadow. I ain't missing Let Loose at all. I know a lot of people aren't either, but yeah. Okay, there's a stamp. I saw that coming. There's Mill Tank. Okay. This is still not good. We still can't even... Because we can't bring him up now. We won't get the ability. Do you have stamp in the deck? No, nah, unfortunately. I, maybe I do. I can't remember. I don't think I do. This isn't a Bilcephalon Birds. I'm actually I'm playing Miltank Birds. But we aren't really using Miltank right now. We're not really needing it. We're going to have to retreat Pidgeotto and try to welder to this guy. Or get a skateboard. Whoops. So we're going to have to try to move the Pidgeotto into the thing. We're going to have to try to Welder, too. Uh, we'll see if we can get there. We'll do Airmail first. Just try to increase the odds of getting Welder. If we knock this thing out, I think we can win, even though he can knock him out with Elegant Soul. Oh, no, he just wins with... So we have to knock him out with Bocephalon, then. Hmm. That might be a challenge... Yeah, but I think I'm about Cephalon. <sighs> he probably just has Great Catcher, though. 
Uh, I'm really not liking how I didn't find those with skateboards, bro. Really not liking it. I think we gotta take Kayla and Cynthia instead just to try to give her energy here. Gonna have to be to play. <sighs> we need a lot. We still need to move Pidgeotto too. Okay, Giant Hearth is nice. Still don't think there's enough to knock him out though. We can knock him out with Heat Ran and then we just lose to Elegant Soul. I hate Alter Creation so much. Somehow we weren't able to find a single skateboard this entire game, like my guy. Yeah, uh, we didn't get a crystal either. Actually, crystal would have helped us out a lot too. Yeah, we got. Yeah, that was a terrible match. Oh my god, we got so unlucky. <laughs> didn't find a single skateboard, and we didn't even get a fire crystal at the end there. That's just beautiful. I don't know. I think I'm gonna wrap this stream though, guys. We've been streaming for about two hours and fifteen minutes, so it's been quite a while. I still need to make a video for tomorrow, uh, but I think I think that was a pretty fun stream. Regardless, I think we did have a pretty good stream going. That was pretty fun. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's live stream. Um, but yeah, I gotta record a video. I don't know what I'm gonna make a video on just yet. There's a lot of decks I wanna, I got. I just pre-ordered my GMAX Meowth box. Can we try it out? Yo, nice. GMAX Meowth can be pretty cool. But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna wrap up the stream here. Thank you everyone for coming by today on the live stream. Um, the Behemoth deck was kind of fun to play. And I'll hopefully stream again in the future. Once again, with Christmas holidays right now, it's not too hard to make time for streaming, which is nice. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in another video slash stream, and bye-bye.